in. You should be able if your guys are in in, you should be able to see them. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, if you open up your character sheets, uh, kind of explain how this goes. Uh, those of you, I mean, you know, Will and uh, and, and Leia, you you've seen this before, so. But just a refresher. Uh, so you got your skills, and they're all listed here. You can scroll down. There's even more skills. There's a lot of skills in this game. Um. They're all kind of they they kind of base them off of like you know specific types of thing like awareness body and stuff like that, but you know they're also all tied to a stat and you can kind of see your stats on the on the left hand next to your portrait, and you can see all your skills and the little the little acronym for abbreviation for the what what a stat it takes. Um, I should, also I got, I guess I, got, I should ask did you start already Will? Uh yeah I started when you said you were gonna go through the preliminary stuff. Okay all right awesome. <laughs> Um, so yeah, uh, all right, in that case, you know, for the stream, uh, yeah, welcome, uh, everybody. Uh, we're gonna be going through the uh, red chrome uh, cargo uh, scream sheet. Uh, this is uh, gonna be a one shot uh, using the cyberpunk red system. Um, uh, this will be my second time running anything in, in cyberpunk. And so uh, I think some people here, their second time, maybe first time playing in the system. So there's gonna be a lot of questions and we're gonna be trying to figure stuff out as we go. Uh, most likely we're gonna get a lot of stuff wrong, but you know, that's the point <laughs> I'm trying to learn. What, getting rules? Nah. So I, here's, I'll, I'll here's my first question, Dom. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I use the handy dandy character creator app on yep. the Apple device. Mm -hmm. When I gave you that code, did were you able to port that in from the no, device, or did so, you make, no. make it in here? So when you when you when you gave me the code, then I imported it on my device, and then I just copied and pasted stuff like oh. as I made your characters. Okay. Oh dang, okay. man! I would have, jeez, just saved you some time and made it. I, I didn't realize you were in the, on the back end. I mean, it's not a, it's not a lot. It's, you know, once I had it, it's just you know, putting some numbers and that's it. Um, but uh, yeah, so that's what I did for you guys. Um, they're the they're working on a desktop app for it and these yeah. guys are they do a lot of like the people here who are making the cyberpunk stuff are very technical there's a lot of like you know built-in automation already in a lot of this stuff um so I, I wouldn't be surprised if you know they work together with the cyberpunk um companion app people and get it so that you, you could probably put the code in and get it over here it's amazing interesting yeah. i wouldn't be surprised if they did something like that because they're really good really really uh they did a lot of work. Um, uh, let me see here. So yeah, so you got your characters here. Um, I set it up so that uh, you guys, if you look at your tokens, you know, you have your armor. That blue bar above you is your armor, your body armor. You got your health. Things are set up that way. Um, so going through this character sheet, um, on the far left-hand side, we have your, you know, your handle, your roll, your HP, your wound state. Okay, so what the way wound states work in this game, uh, when you're below maximum HP, you are lightly wounded, and nothing, nothing else changes from that. If you're if you're bloodied, so below or you know below 50 percent of your HP or below, it's called seriously wounded in this game, and you have a minus two to all your actions. And then hmm. if you go if you get to zero HP, uh, you are considered mortally wounded. You start making death saves. Uh, the way. When you're, but you, it, the way death saves work in this game is that um, uh, you can still act your, on your turn. You know, when your turn comes up and you roll your death save, uh, you want to roll. You roll a d10 and you want to get lower than whatever your body score is. So your body uh, stat, whatever that number is, you want to roll under that. So you want to roll and roll low. Oh, if you goodness. roll a ten, if you roll a ten, regardless of whether you had, a, if you had like a body of twelve, if you roll a ten, you still die. Um, <laughs> that's so amazing um but um the thing is though is that if you do roll under your body under your body when you're making death saves you can act on that turn but the problem is you have a minus four to everything Unless and uh you're and every stimmed up right uh, or no not, i think not stim only does i think stim does serious only does seriously okay. not does mortally wounded uh, don't worry you'll, you'll be fine. you can all, but a, somebody can run up and try and stabilize you and if you're stabilized you you are um you know, back at one. Uh, I think you're actually knocked unconscious if you get stable. No, you're back at one HP, I believe. And so you get mortally wounded again. Uh, but um, and you can't you can't heal somebody while they're mortally wounded. You have to stabilize them first. 
Now, the way healing works in this game is uh, only, only one person in this group can heal. And that's a uh, habit. Because they're a med tech. And that's their role. And, me and med techs have an ability where they can make drugs. And there's only one drug in the game that can heal you like in the middle of combat. It's called speed heal. And you only can have once per day. One of it per day. Um, yeah. So, I'll tell you right now. Uh, uh, combat in this game is very dangerous. Um, and getting, hurt, getting you know your HP down at all is very dangerous uh, because there's not a lot of ways for you to get it back up. Uh, that's why you guys, and uh, that's why, you know, you guys have, you know, starting characters, you have like, you know, 40 and 35 and HP that around that high, you know, because that HP you're going to have for the rest of your life, pretty much. Um, <laughs> not when we chrome up, Choom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, that's true. It will, it could increase if you, you know, decide to, you know, chrome up and get uh, some crazy uh, uh, cybernetics that increase your body stat your hp is based off of an average of your body and will so um so yeah so is that uh death saves whenever you surpass the death save you add your death, death save little button right there there's a little arrow that points up you click on that it adds a plus one penalty to your death save so every time you succeed on a death save yeah you can act that turn you have all those negatives but you also the next time you roll a death save it's gonna be an added plus one and if your result is higher than your body you die so things are you know it's dangerous um, humanity, uh, that has to do with, uh, chroming up. Um, whenever you put in cyberware, there's a humanity cost to it. And your humanity is based off of your, em your empathy, the EMP, um, uh, stat. So the higher your empathy, the more cyberware you most likely can install without going insane. Um, there's also, you know, if this is a longer form campaign, there is ways to, to heal your human humanity by going to therapy. And um, you can pay to go to therapy or you can have a med tech uh, do it because that's one of the things that med techs can do. They can do therapy. Habit doesn't uh, do therapy, can... unfortunately, though. You have to find somebody else. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> some, of, some, of the, some of that therapy also requires drugs, though. So. Oh, okay. They, uh, maybe they do a little therapy on the side <laughs> as a treat. <laughs> um, improvement points. That's experience points in this game. Um, we're not going to really worry about it here, but uh, the way it works is, uh, you know, you give you as you guys complete stuff i give you in, uh, improvement points and you can use improvement points to upgrade skills there's like a specific cost for each skill uh to upgrade um and that's in the rule book so but we don't have to worry about it for this one shot uh going over to your skills again um there's a couple things here uh you might want to know and i'll make you you guys can make adjustments if you want to some of your characters because you probably didn't you, you know some of this you may not have known uh, going through but uh reflex is has to do with all your shooting and guns and stuff like that. Um, it's primary combat, combat and looking out for stuff. If your reflex is eight or higher, you can choose to uh, uh, when you're shot out to choose instead of you know the person to make. I guess let me back up a bit to explain something because the way range combat works in this game is that uh, you're not trying to hit a armor class or anything like that. It has nothing to do with the person you're shooting. Um, depending on how far they are from you. There's a specific number you have to beat, and it depends on what weapon you're using. So, if you're using a hand, uh, a, a pistol, a pistol has a their own like table that explains like, okay, um, if they're you know six meters away from you, you have to beat a 13. You have to roll at least a th you have to beat a 13 to hit them. If they're you know uh, 10, uh, you know 12 meters away from you, you have to beat a 15. So that's how it works, um, and that's how it works for every range attack. It has nothing to do with the character, with the person you're aiming at. It has to do with how far away they are, how far you are from them when you're shooting and what weapon you're using. Now, uh, to add to that, if your character has a reflex of eight or higher, you can choose to try and dodge a bullet, dodge bullets or dodge any range attack that comes after you. And what that means is that you can roll uh, your evasion skill, which is another, it's a skill inside fighting. And the person, the person who rolls the attack has to beat your evasion skill. Now you have to choose this. You have to choose to do this before the uh, person uh, rolls their their attack. So you know somebody's planning to shoot you. You can say, "I want to dodge it." You got to roll your, your evasion first, and then the person shoots and sees and and goes. Yeah. So so if you like do a bad dodge though, and then they the DV still doesn't meet like the distance, you you get hit. <laughs> you roll into the bullet. Yeah, you roll into the bullet. <laughs> oh my that's god, a, that's amazing. Okay, yeah. you like you see it coming. You're like, oh, get down. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah. Uh, 
So uh, it, it, it could happen where, where, you know, you know, they're going to shoot you uh, and, in, and then you try and dodge out the way and they were doing an aim shot and then you just made it so that you can get hit. Like it, it could be that bad. Uh, they will, I will, I uh, will call out if they're aiming or not before you roll though. So you can make the decision if you want to try and dodge or not. Um, okay. So there's that, um, dexterity has to do with a lot of your, has to do with dodging and all your melee, melee requ- related, uh, abilities. Um, tech, you know, tech, technology, anything has to do with tech. Most of the the, the technical skill section of your your, your um, skills list is, has to do with all the tech stuff there. Um, cool. It's kind of like the charisma of uh, of this game. How well you are under pressure, um, and how cool you are to you know people want to listen to. You. Will is a uh, mental your mental strain. How much mental strain do you take? Uh, it's also related to how much uh, you can resist torture or drugs. Uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, luck. Okay, luck is a cool thing here. So the way luck works is um, uh, you have a certain number of luck points that you can use to add a plus one to any roll that you... Any, well, there's actually specific rolls that you can do, but most of them, any attack, skill check, things like that, and some of your roll abilities you can add it to, um, you can add luck to it. And you, when you're about to roll, you say, I'm going to spend two luck. And then because it's, you know, if you look at your luck thing, it says, you know, a number out of a number, you uh, have a maximum. You can say, I want to spend two luck on this. You get a plus two on, yet on this uh, on this roll. And then you reduce your, your you know, your first number by two. And, um, you know, you have that. And the way the system works is that you, re- you refill luck every session. Um, so if you have a high let's luck stat, um, I like, you know, who, who here has a high luck stat? You guys are about five. So yeah, <laughs> you know, you, you have, that means you have five things you can use in this session, you know, five plus ones you can, add, you can add, you can, you can dump all your luck and get a plus five on something. If you have five luck and then you'll be out of luck for the rest of the session. Um, body is your body that has to do with your death save and uh, determines how much damage you do when you're doing like uh, arm strikes, um, martial arts and stuff like that. And then empathy is also another social uh, uh, skill, but also affects your, how much cyber war you can have. Okay, so that's just the, the stats and the uh, you know HP in that, in that part of the thing. We have a bunch of skills. Um, if you go scroll down all the way on your character sheet, there's like three tabs. There'll be a roll tab, a fight tab, and a life path tab. If you go to the roll tab, that's your where your roll ability is. So, um, so well, you you remember, uh, you remember your for yours. You have the med tech. You can choose where you want to put your points in, and that's how it's yeah. affected. For Wraith, you're a solo. So the way this works is that at the start of your of any combat, when you roll initiative. Uh, under your roll ability, you can choose where you want to put those points into. You have four points, so you can choose where you want to put them in. And each, each, ta- each, um, they all have their own like thing that happens. Um, in the middle of combat, you can also rearrange your points too as an action. Okay. So, uh, one of them is like initiative reaction. So, at the beginning of initiative, before initiative roll, you can put all your points into there and you have a plus four to your initiative. Okay. Um, all right. And then it's it's a matter of whether you want to, uh, you know, uh, spend a whole action later to to change out the points in the middle of combat. It also says I can do it outside of combat as well. Yeah, you can do it outside of combat okay. before before you roll initiative as well. Right. Anytime outside of combat, as an action one in combat, and before initiative roll is rolled when a initiative you know when a combat's about to start. Okay, I have I have points in places right now just for four. Okay. Um, I think, is there a description? And I don't have the actual description of what each of those um, things do, but I don't, don't know if you have it. Not sheet I do, but on the on the handy dandy Cyberpunk Red Companion app for iOS devices, uh, I do have it That's there. Like not All right, perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Great. Uh, yeah, the app is really good. It's very good. I like that a lot. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, let me go here. Oh, okay. And then for, for you, uh, Ratchet. Uh, your role ability is called interface. Whenever you're going to be doing anything inside of a side net running, 
you're gonna just be rolling your interface, which is gonna be a D10 plus that that number your rank, which is plus four. Okay. You can always add you can always add luck to it. Uh, whenever you're making the roll. Um, so uh, when we get there's gonna there's there is a moment where you might have a chance to net run in this one shot. And when it gets to there, we can kind of go over a little bit more about that. But um, I'll I'll give you a little brief overview of what what this all means for you. So on your sheet, uh, and only your sheet, because you're a net runner, in your fight tab, you have two tabs inside your fight tab. You have the meat tab and the net tab. So we'll go over the meat tab first, and then I'll go over the net tab for you. Okay. Okay. So meat tab, tell, there's two three things there. There's the critical injuries. Uh, they kind of go over you know. Whenever you are critically hit, we roll on a critical injury table and it finds out what happens to your character. Some of them can be as bad as you, your arm gets chopped off. Uh, some of them can be as, as soft as, uh, you know, you just get a sprained, uh, a jammed finger. Your eye gets yeah. shot out, you know? Normal yes. stuff. Or your eye gets shot out. Yeah, uh, normal human stuff. Yeah. 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 Um, so those things can happen. And the way those work is that uh, whenever you roll damage, if you roll two sixes, uh, on your damage, that person that you hit uh, gets a critical injury. And whenever you, a person gets a critical injury, they automatically lose five HP, and then they get the critical injury, plus whatever the damage is that happened when you got shot. But yeah, combat is very dangerous. Um, the best thing you can do is try and get in cover. All right. Uh, and the way cover works in this game, uh, just so we can get this, uh, is that you're either in cover or you're out of cover. Um, there's no like partial or half cover or anything like that. So if you block line, you want to block line of sight. And you could do that by crouching down behind stuff. Just let me know if you're hiding behind something and you'll be in cover. Um, for the most part, it's pretty simple. Uh, and cover, there's a whole system here that covers has their own HP. And I have, I can tell, you know, you know, when someone's shooting at you while you're in cover, they can shoot directly at the cover. They still have to roll the normal, uh, you know, deep, uh, attack and try and beat the uh, the range difficulty number that they have to beat and they the, the cover will take the damage uh, okay so that's critical injury armor so right now you guys have uh, mostly i think all of you have light armor jacks so the way armor works in this game is that whenever you're shot or you take damage um your armor soaks up uh it's stopping power in damage so a light armor jack has 11 out of 11 stopping power um, that means when you're shot and you know you're hit, uh, whatever the damage rolled, you're going to reduce it by 11. Um, now, if the number, if the damage, if you reduce it by 11, but you still take damage because the number, the, the damage number was so high that you know, say the damage number was like you don't know, uh, 12, you took 12 damage, uh, you'll only take one damage to your HP because your armor stopped 11 of it. But because you took one damage to your HP, your um, stopping power goes down by one. So instead of being 11 out of 11, you'll be 10 out of 11 now. And it's not just the, it's not, you know, it's always one. It's never like, no matter how much damage gets through, it's always going to be one unless there's something specific happening. Like something's using armor piercing rounds. I think those reduce your armor by two every time it goes over. Um, so, and you realize that you have both a body armor and a head armor. Reason for that is uh, because you can. There's a thing in this game called aim shots, where you can shoot somebody. You can aim for a head, um, and I'll go over that in the next section, which is weapons. So you all have your weapons here. Um, there's two things there. There's the fist uh, button for your weapon, and then the the, the uh, droplet button. One of them is for rolling the attack. The other one is rolling damage. Honestly, you if you want, you can just uh, take the fist and bra drag it down to your hot bar. And then whenever it pops up in the chat, you can just uh, go ahead and there's like a little, there's gonna be a little button there for you to roll the damage from the chat card. So you don't have to keep your character sheet open at all times. But, um, well, look at that. Oh man. Yeah, look at that. Oh my roll, God. <laughs> uh, see that? So yeah, roll the attack. And then you see the, you see in the chat bar, there's like a little button that says roll, uh, roll damage. I don't know if anybody else can see it, but I know I'm pretty sure, uh, Habit can see it. There's like a little droplet next to the shotgun, and you can roll how much damage you do. Oh, that would have been a crit. Yeah, that oh. would have been a crit. 24 damage plus that was, five. That was on the way here. You kill, there was you can, there was so many mean mug and habit. Yeah, I mean, you could <laughs> probably kill probably kill somebody with that. Yeah. Uh, don't forget the refill. Don't forget, don't forget to refill. Yeah, re refill your ammo. Yeah. I'll get there and be yeah. like, oh, I've only got one shell. <laughs> 
So, um, there's that. Uh, also, if you look at your weapon, there's a couple a couple things at the bottom there. So there's the uh, change ammo button, which looks like two arrows. If you had multiple different types of ammo, you can use that to change out your ammo. Whenever you need to reload, you need it's going to turn to a re reload button. And there's like a little uh, ruler, which means measure DV. You just want to make sure that you click on that uh, when we start playing so that whenever you need to measure to find out what the, you know, what you have to beat to hit, uh, you can just use control, drag your token, and it'll, it'll measure, you know, how far you need to, you know, be for the hit. I don't know if you guys can see me dragging, like if you hold control and drag off of your character, you should see yeah. like some text that explains how, how, you know, what DV you need to beat. Um, so yeah, there's that, uh, ROF means your rate of fire. So, uh, if it's ROF one, you make one attack on your, for one action. If it's ROF two, you make two attacks for one action. Uh, there's, there's no, there's nothing, uh, higher than RF, RF two, ROF two in this game. Can you get any, um, implants that let you get RO, ROF three? No, the two is the maximum. RIP. Yeah. No, if you play, if you got a tech, tech probably make something like that, but it'd probably be very expensive. I mean, yeah, if you if you have a tech, uh, so techs in this game, uh, they could they're invent, artificers. Yeah, they're pretty much artificers. They can invent anything. There's rules for them for making anything, anything. Um, there's a high cost to them to that, and a lot of time, and you have to get the materials and stuff like that. And there's a whole there's a whole process for that. But yeah, they could they can invent anything. They're homebrew. They can they can mm -hmm. homebrew the world. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh let me see here. Okay, where was I? Um Okay, yeah. So that that's what you have here for your weapons. Um Uh so uh let me go over your net uh fight tab I for you. I had to um reload. Yeah, my thing my thing uh locked up on me for a second too. I don't know. I think it's because I was looking at the ammo types. <laughs> like I was looking, I was scrolling through the ammo and uh, it locked up. Yeah, mine did a little bit earlier, but I, I just refreshed it and it fixed it. Okay. Let me know when you're back in. I'm in. All right, I'm, I'm loading in. All right. Okay. So. Um, looking at your uh, the the uh, the net portion of the fight tab for you, uh, Ratchet, oh, is okay. that you you have you have your your all the the abilities you can do while in the net. So there's scan, backdoor, cloak, control, ID, all this stuff happens here. And uh, uh, don't worry, it's a they kind of sound weird, but for the most part they're 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 pretty simple. Scan means you press that if you want to try and find a place where you can hack into the scanner. Um, backdoor is how you get past passwords. Uh, cloak is how you, uh, make yourself hidden while you're in the network. Um, control. Uh, so there's, there might be times where you're, while you're hacking, you find, and like when, when we, when we get through this, it'll be a lot easier about understanding when you use these things. Um, but, uh, you might run into a thing that maybe there's a camera you want to control. You use control and, um, uh, you, uh, you know, press the control button. If you find a file inside the while hacking and you want to ID the file, use ID. Pathfinder, when you first enter a network, you can say, okay, I want to use this Pathfinder to see what's inside this network before I, I go any further in. Um, you can kind of think of, of net running as kind of like a choose your own adventure type of thing where or an elevator where you, you get on the top floor and then you work your way down deep, uh, down floor by floor uh figuring out you know trying to get past passwords things like that as you go further down and once you get to the bottom you have control of the network okay yeah um slide so slide is how you run away from from uh a thing called black ice black ice are programs that are inside of a network that can try and kill you oh my god um, <laughs> yeah um and then virus is if you want to leave a virus on the once you make it to the bottom floor and you have control of the network, you can leave a virus if you want. And that virus can be whatever you want. You just say what you want. You roll a DV 
you roll your inter interface and that's going to be the uh the way what somebody has to beat if they want to try and counter your virus but you can make it be whatever you want it to be just you know narrative you have narrative freedom on what you want it to be you can make it so that it alert you you get a, a ping on your your smartphone your agent whenever somebody enters the network you can make it so that uh things on the network uh, attack anybody who joins you can you know do whatever you want um okay and then zap is just a basic attack net running attack if you're fighting a, a enemy program or enemy another net runner that's a basic attack you can do uh defense and speed is kind of you know uh if somebody's attacking you you might need to roll a defense that's the defense button Speed is when you first run into an enemy program, you're going to have to, you guys roll pretty, pretty much roll initiative against each other at that moment when you meet inside the net. And that's what, that's what that speed button is. That's a lot, but don't worry when you'll, there's only specific times where these are useful and it's very obvious when you need to use them. You'll the hardest see. part is lugging around your ice bath. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the thing about this, so unlike, okay. uh, 2077, um, uh, the the game this takes place in 2045, after a the fourth corporate war. So there was a big giant war between Militech, Arasaka, and a bunch of other corporations. Uh, they dropped the nuke on on Night City, uh, uh, and uh, we're kind of like in like a fallout slightly. Kind of like they're like Night City's beat is rebuilding right now. So there's a if you look at the map right here, on the side, um, the green area. It's called a rebuilt urban zone. So like everywhere around there is just being rebuilt. It's kind of where you where you, where you can think of how Night City looks like in 2077 um, around there. But, you know, things are still being, you know, not everything is put together. The old, uh, the gray area, the hot zone, the gray area in the middle, that's where the nuke drop was dropped. Um, that's where in 2077, where, you know, all the major corporation towers are. But in this case, it's just a wasteland uh, filled with radiation uh, people, you know, gangers are living out there or living in the radiation, trying to scavenge whatever was left inside the, the old, you know, old city center where all the corporations buildings used to be. Um, so it's, it's, it's horrible there. You don't want to go there unless you have to. Um, the red area here is called the combat zone. That's just lawless gang territory. Uh, there's uh, a lot well, of stuff there. Um, uh, the police won't go there. Uh, that's the, if you, if you were there and the police, and you call the police for help, uh, they will laugh at you. <laughs> and then, uh, the, uh, yellow areas are, are this, you know, the overpack suburb, suburb, sur suburbs. So like, you know, people just trying to live people who left, uh, uh, the, you know, city center, um, people who left the combat zone, who are just trying to live their life. That's where all their average people live. Um, there, you know, there's a lot of garbage. People are, you know, there's way too many people living in like squatting in like houses and stuff like that. But it is, you know, kind of normal suburbs. And then the executive zone where all the rich uh, executives and that's where the kind of where the, the the main corporations living areas and stuff like that are now the executive zone. Um, if you guys, uh, there's, you know, there's a lot of t tags here. If you guys want to look at stuff, there's a legend on the left hand side. And if you click on the thing, the little button next to eleven, uh, uh, legend toggle at the top under the Night City button, under nights under the, the Night City, if you click there, it oh. flips it over. Oh, I see. Yeah. Oh, it, we all. Oh, it's all okay. It's all. Yeah. Yeah. It flips it for everyone. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not, not bad. <laughs> all right. Pretty cool. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm interested in the red meat wagon. I'm gonna guess that's a uh, ambulance <laughs> corporation. Uh, probably. There's there's a lot of st stuff in the in the book about all those all those places as well, but I don't. Oh, I it's don't... the it's the Rio, Rio. All right, let me see here. Um, okay, one last thing uh, about your your net action area. Uh, under installed, where it shows all your programs. So the way it works, um, just the way net running works in general. You, you say you, you decide you want to start net running and you find an access point and you want to start hacking it. You, you use your first action, your action on combat to net run. And then you have three net actions you can do. 
And that's three of the things that we just showed, uh, we just talked about here. You could do that on one in one turn. Um, um, so uh, one of the things you can do is activate one of your programs. So uh, you have a program here called uh, Worm. Worm, what Worm does, it, it makes you give a plus to, to backdoor checks. So you can, you can spend one of your net actions to activate your Worm, and then, then use your next action, action to do a backdoor to go through a password, and you have a plus two to it because you activated Worm. And Worm will stay activated until you deactivate it. So if you run to another password while you're in there, you can do it. And uh, I know a lot of stuff still sounds kind of weird, but when, once we get started, oh, you'll, it should make normal. sense. <laughs> um, Sword is another program. You want to activate it. And then once it's activated, when you're, you can use it to attack programs. Or other net runners, if you run into another net runner inside a net. Now, the thing with, 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 with taking damage while you're net running is that it goes directly to your brain. There's no armor unless you have a program that gives you armor, which you do. Uh, you have flak, which gives you armor. So oh, thank God. <laughs> yeah. So, so I could possibly die in the net. Yes. Yeah, yes, die. you can. Die in IRL, yeah. Yeah. Oh my, don't say that. <laughs> it's all right. It's just your okay. meat that will die. Yeah. All right. Um, I think that's everything for the character sheet. Um, so what are these other tabs in the in the top over here that I see? Okay, yes, okay, yes. You have your skills, you have your gear. Your gear tab, it shows all your gear that oh, you have. Oh, there, you're talking about... Uh... Oh, I meant these things over here. We can talk about that too, though. <laughs> oh, up here. Oh, okay, yeah, those up there, those are journal entries that I made that has stuff for you guys to figure, uh, you know, if you have if we have questions about like that. One is called the data screen that has all the, like, basic rules. It's kind of like the GM screen, but okay. for for basic rule stuff. I don't know if you guys have act. If you guys double click it, do you guys have access to the? Yeah, they, they yeah. open up. Yeah, does it open up? And then there's like a little button that says "load PDF" and just like a PDF that has. Oh, I see. The Kibble oh, awesome. lifestyle. Uh yes. There's a one called "lifestyles and downtime." So if we were playing a full length campaign, you the point of okay, so just back up a little bit. Point of Cyberpunk here is to try and make enough money so so you can pay rent the next month. That's that's your goal. From every every uh, every uh, character, every edge runner, your goal is so that you can you know make enough money to to uh, pay rent next month. And the best way to make money as a as a as a edge runner is to do jobs, um, and gigs and stuff like that. And the way this game, the way the game does it, is that you can you have a lifestyle, and the lifestyle has a cost, and uh, uh, you know depending on how you're you know you want to you have rent. You need to pay for if you want to live in like a on the street or if you want to live in a cargo container apartment. Um, you know, there's a cost. And if you were playing a full length campaign, every month of game time, you would have to pay that cost. And that'll determine your lifestyle for the for the for the you know rest of that month. And some of the things can happen. Like if you're living on the street, you're almost gonna always uh be exhausted and have a minus two. Unless you can find something, unless you're willing to pay um, you know, money for uh, an actual hotel, stuff like that. But the, the kind of the idea behind this, think about like in D&D when we're like, I w we're gonna stay at this inn, how much does it cost to stay at the inn? Your lifestyle covers all of that. So if you're living like a, a generic pre-pack lifestyle, then I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, you know, nickel and dime you for buying food or trying to go to a bar and buying a drink for somebody. That would be covered by your lifestyle. So that, that money that you paid at the beginning of the month covers your lifestyle and it's usually cheaper to have the lifestyle than it is to have to actually pay for it in game but again that has to do this a lot of this has to do with you know full length campaigns so we don't have to worry about it but um other things up here like vehicle combat there's a there's a tab up there for vehicle combat uh there's a tab up there for services and items so if you want to know you know kind of like you know what things cost and things like that what happens when you find things uh some services you could do um how much stuff basic stuff costs like you want to hire a professional to help you with something you know how much it costs them per hour um, this is good tabs to have a reference of things yep that's why that's why they're up there yeah and as i make as i make more the more will be showing up up there as well once i get you know start doing a full campaign um but yeah 
uh, going back to your character sheet, yeah, you have your, your gear tab, your cyberware tab, and your effects tab. Here tells you all, all the gear that you have in there. And if you look on the right-hand side of that, where it says actions, you have like a little hand that's, if you mouse over, it says equip. You can click on that. There's a couple ways you can have it. You can have it uh, just by having it in your gear section means that you own this item, whether it's inside of a container or something like that, that's up to you. But you can click on it and you can change it from, from being um, uh, just owning it to carrying it to having it equipped. So carrying it means that it's on your person and you can, you know, try and equip it or you have it with you, carrying it with you. It's in a bag or something like that. Um, equipped means that you're actively holding it in your hand, you're using it. Um, and then, uh, you know, if it has neither of them, then you just own this item, whether you, 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 you know, you pick where, where it's stored, like, is it in your car? Is it in your apartment? You know, things like that. So, um, right. just that cyberware, uh, shows you all the cyberware that you have installed. Um, the way cyberware works in this game is you have to have, uh, a foundation cyberware, and then you put op you put, uh, options inside of it. So like looking at you, Ratchet, you have a, one cyber eye and then installed in that cyber eye, you have virtual reality. Um, Actually, we need to give you a second uh, cyber eye because the only way this works is if you have two. The only way virtuality works is if you have two cyber eyes with both virtuality in them. Otherwise, you, you buy the virtuality keep... twice. It's got to yeah. be paired. Yeah. It's oh, paired. okay. So we'll just throw we'll just throw another cyber eye on you. Yeah, come okay. here. I can I can put this in quick. Wait, wait. <laughs> no meds. We need to save eye. the meds the meds for the mission, okay? Meds cost extra. <laughs> Put in some more virtuality on your sheet. Just, just give me some anesthesia, that's it. Oh, that's right. that's really gonna cost you. Right. Are you? <laughs> Alright, I installed. And then we're gonna install this uh <laughs> Yeah, no Cyclops allowed. You, you you gotta have two eyes if you wanna go into the virtual world. <laughs> yeah. Either that or you buy virtual reality goggles and you just wear those the entire time. Ah, that's not fashionable, though. Man, that's exactly. Be a, be exactly. Lame. Exactly. You gotta look cool, man. Yep. And that's I'm why gonna, there's a whole. Yeah. That's why there's a whole skill called personal uh, styling, <laughs> uh, wardrobe and style, and personal grooming. Um, if this is a full campaign, you know, when you guys wake up every morning, I'm gonna have to have to roll it to see how people uh, react to you every day. Oh man, <laughs> I don't know exactly how they react to have it. Yeah. All right. So uh, we spent the first uh, half an hour going over some of the stuff. I guess we can kind of get started. Um, unless you guys have any other questions. Uh, no, nothing here. I don't think so. I'm sure we'll have some. Yeah, yeah, for sure. No, let's. All right, we're going to get going. All righty. Now let's see here. All righty. Uh, we'll go. Put the music back here. Okay. Alrighty. Uh, let me see here. So, uh, you guys are uh, uh, edge runners uh, in Night City in the year uh, 2045. Um, you guys have were contacted by a, a, a well-known fixer named Hornet. Um, you guys have done, the reason why you've been contacted is because you have done work for them before. Um, Habit, you have helped them with, uh, with um, uh, uh, some keeping, you know, uh, giving uh, stims and stuff like that to some of their other runners that he is, uh, have had, you know, do jobs for them. Uh, he has paid you for, for some of your drugs. Um, Wraith, uh, you have done some solo work for them, uh, you know, you know, uh, Taking out a gang member, uh, stepping, stepping into his turf, uh, being just muscle around when he's making a deal, things like that. And Ratchet, you have done some nut running work for him as well. Um, he has paid you to do, uh, you know, shore up their his, some of their defenses sometimes. You know, uh, install some programs uh, into their nut architecture, um, as well as just you know breaking into specific uh, areas and finding data and selling it to him. Um, he's a well-known fixer in, in Night City, uh, and what you know about him is that uh, he's always around with his uh, 
is a bodyguard uh, fox. So uh, as you guys got contacted, uh, he, uh, uh, you know, in the, he asked you guys to meet him at a, uh, uh, a train station kind of towards the outskirts of uh, uh, Night City. Um, as you guys arrived, uh, there were a, uh, you know, you were ushered in, you saw Fox, they uh, explained, you know, uh, motioned you guys to come inside the train. And People that inside aren't this, uh, yes, so this is a uh, Hornet, and this is Fox. Okay. Yep. So, uh, you guys enter enter into a this uh train. Uh, there inside the train there was a bit of an office. Uh, they uh, motioned you into the office. Inside the office there is a a, a desk. Behind it, uh, behind it, us is Hornet. He seems to be going over something inside of his uh, agent. Um, uh, as you guys are entered in, uh, Fox uh, steps in with you and closes the door and stands in at, in, uh, at the door as you guys enter in. Uh, there's two chairs, even though there's three of you. There's only two chairs. Uh, so I don't know who wants to sit and who wants to stand. I I'll prefer standing. For, I'll make for the chair. All right. Yeah, it comes in looking really sweaty. Sits down. All right. Uh, as you guys sit down, uh, uh, have it. Uh, I mean, not have it. Uh, Hornet, uh, you know, looks up away from his uh, his uh, agent and says, "Ah, have it, Wraith, and Ratchet. Good, you're here. Uh, Don't you run out again. Ah. I tell, try to tell you. It takes time to make these things. You ask." Uh, no, no, we haven't run out. This is a, a separate job for you. Something that I uh, think you uh, uh, might find very lucrative. Hmm. I'm listening. I, uh, so, uh, I'm sure you heard of the recent uh, gang wars happening between the Iron Sights and the Red Chrome Legion. No, I haven't heard. Mm -hmm. uh yes well uh we have a i have a job for you where i need you to uh, uh retrieve something from a uh red chrome legion uh cargo cargo train uh it seems like uh not too long ago something was stolen and from the uh iron sights and they wanted to be returned They've paid uh, uh, me handsomely, and with that means that I can play you handsomely to go and retrieve the item from uh, the cargo train. Uh, each of you uh, will be paid uh, two two thousand uh, eddies. I think that's the standard rate for um, a job this uh, this caliber. Now, you guys know. I'll let you guys know this um, as edge runners. You do know that usually two hundred. Uh, 2,000 uh, eddies each is like a, a job that require. it's going to be like dangerous. There's going to be a lot of fire, a lot of fighting. Uh, you know, people might die. Like that's 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 the rate that you usually pay for edge runners going into like a hostile uh, combative uh, gig. Yeah. Habits playing around with the air hypo kind of twirling between their fingers is a 2,000 eddies for this train. Ooh. For this cargo, you're expecting a lot. How much heat are we expecting to pack? Well, I don't know what's going to be inside that train. I do know, though, that uh, what you're looking for is four uh, cargo uh, four large crates that are DNA uh, locked. How large are we talking? Uh, let me see here. Uh, hmm. Wraith can probably carry two at a time. That doesn't leave her much room for carrying guns. Well, make sure you don't need the guns once you're carrying the the crates. <laughs> Have a drugs. Kind of nods their head and then uh, says, Eh, I'm in. Mm -hmm. 2,000 mm -hmm. eddies. It's, it's worth. All right. He looks towards Wraith and Ratchet. 
I can probably go on a nice vacation afterwards. Sounds like a deal to me. I can finally buy me that new cyber armor I see in the markets. Why not? All right. Well, uh, so uh, some more information that you guys have accepted. Uh, the uh, the train uh, is a uh, armored Militech cargo train that I believe the uh, Red Chrome Legion has hijacked. Um, my sources have told me that they're going to be passing through uh, 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 Night City um, and they're going to be heading towards some type of uh, uh, facility that uh, they have in the outskirts of the city. Um, we're going to, I'm going to have you, uh, we're going to take this train and uh, meet up with them. And then from here, uh, we'll, you know, get up on, side, on the side of them. You guys will climb up onto the roof, jump from this train to there, do what you got to do, and then bring the, uh, the cargo over, back over. If you need to, if you're going to stop the train, stop the train. If you're not going to stop the train, I don't, I don't see, uh, hmm. Mm, he like looks. At, he, 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 he looks. He looks. He looks up at you, at you guys, and he's. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, I think. Uh, grab the cargo and bring it back. The train will. will keep the train uh, lined up with the other one. We want to be in and out in a matter of minutes. Yes. Delaying too uh, long and gonna pull some serious heat. It's As never well, that simple. We also don't want to be around when Militech shows up to get their train back. So five minutes then? Or do you think we could do it in less? If you can do it in five minutes, that would be great. Probably less. So the sooner the better. The better. All right. Habit, who's a kind of a, a wiry build, uh, but you can see they're lean as if they subsist on a diet of cigars and the occasional kibble. Um, they're wearing kind of just a set of Gabby clothes. Um, you can tell not much care is put into their appearance. Uh, they're going to glance over and try to look at, look at um, these two companions that have been thrown in their lot. What do they see? Oh yeah, I forgot about the character injuries. Good, good job, good job. Uh, Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Will. Uh, when you look over at Wraith, uh, you see a very uh, buff-looking lady that I didn't actually find art for, yeah, so don't yeah, worry uh, about we'll it. We'll put up Habit, we'll put up Wraith. Uh, she looks like she is uh, lots lots of muscle under those uh, layers of clothes there, and she has a gun and a heavy melee weapon that doesn't really describe anything. So mm -hmm. I'm going to say it's like a sword or something in this sci-fi world that we're playing in. Okay, you want a sword? Hold on, hold on. Yeah, what's... Hold on, hold on. What type of sword? <laughs> oh my no, there's, oh, there's, actually, there's actually a sword. Nice. There's actually a sword. Is actually really? Sport. Yes. Nice. Uh, there, I just threw a, short, a sword on your on your sheet. Amazing. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yes. It is also a heavy melee weapon, so you can go ahead and delete <laughs> that heavy melee weapon and use the sword if you want. Hell yeah! Oh, there it is. It has an icon and everything. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Uh, how do I how do I equip it? So the little circle button on the side, you want to where it says own. You want to oh, click that into, until 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 it turns into a hand. And then Aha. now it's equipped. And then you can go ahead and, and delete, delete the... Uh... That heavy melee. Okay. Yeah, but she has a cool sword in this neat sci-fi world that we play in. Um, and looks like she could carry two large crates. <laughs> At so once. Nice. I, I will say, Wraith, as you you know, you have your sword. You can see that uh, Fox also has a sword on her back. Oh, rad. Mm -hmm. or, or their back. You're not sure. Hard to tell these days. Mm -hmm. Abbott has a shotgun slung over one shoulder and a, a pretty noticeably concealed pistol in the their pants pocket. And uh, as uh, you, as Rafe noticed the you know fox with her sword standing next to Fox, standing up is a uh, ratchet. It's hard to really tell what kind of person Ratchet is. He is covered in pure metal, chromed out most of his upper torso and arms you see neck light playing around his um starting from his clavicle up to where his chin is as well as a large uh 
You can't really see through it, but uh, almost dome-like helm covering his entire face. As he um, puts his arms out, you, you see a, a control panel open up as he um, tinkers and clicks a few buttons before closing it down. He is wearing baggy, slightly torn um, brown pants with a heavy pistol strapped to the back of his waist. I mean, uh, Judge Red vibes right now, no? <laughs> Ratchet, was it? You... You've got some pretty serious chrome, Chum. Are you, are you gonna be able to... Are you gonna hold it together on this? Don't need you freaking out and... I don't need you meatbats bleeding out. Mm. The mission will be done. Just try and keep up. Happens gonna run their hand through their slick back hair, glance over at Hornet, and just kinda shrug. Two thousand eddies. Mm-hmm. It is enough. All right. Well, we're burning uh, daylight, and you want to make sure we catch that train before it's too late. So, uh, he like nods at uh, Fox. Fox uh, opens up the opens up, opens up the office, uh, sticks their heads out, uh, points at somebody, and then you start you start hearing the train start. All right. I got I got, I got train sounds. Hold on. Can we oh, say shit. that the train sounds? Can we say that yeah. prior to coming here, uh, habit. Tried to cook up some drugs, and I, because I had sure. some. Nice. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, I think it's What's just. What you cooking, uh, Doc? Yeah. Well, it depends on how well this roll is. <laughs> Might not be anything. All right, let's see. Okay, seventeen. I think uh, DC is only a thirteen to uh, yeah. make. So I get three doses, and we'll just do three doses of speed heal. Keep it simple. All right. Yeah, DV thirteen, two hundred. Uh, oh yeah, let me delete. Two hundred eddies, and then you get um, based on what how many points you had in it, which was uh, how many points did you have in the pharmaceuticals? In med tech, I got three. On med tech, well, med tech is is a combination of both. Yeah, you get, a, you get a number of doses equal to your med tech, which is... Uh, oh, you do? Oh, dang, yeah, yeah, I just realized that. Yeah, okay, awesome. So you get three. So you got yeah. three speed heals. Perfect. All righty. Uh, if you... Should be, can you, dra you... You can drag it onto your sheet, right? Yeah, I got it. Okay. I'm going to swap out two of these. All right. Let me preload this scene. And let me go ahead and go back over there and delete uh, Arizona, because they're not here. Goodbye, Arizona. Does Arizona still exist in Cyberpunk future? Got a car well, what, coming over. well, maybe who knows? Maybe you know, I'm I'm collecting uh, PCs here, so uh, who knows? Might that might show up in a when I when I do a campaign. You can always use a, a you know, I they gotta go find a med tech to help heal them. Who knows? Maybe that med tech is a habit. Sometime <laughs> later on. Yeah, most people do not come to me for healing. I mean, that healing could be a healing of the soul you know therapy yeah, they don't come to me <laughs> that for that much either <laughs> okay let's see um all righty so yeah you guys uh are is there anything else anybody wants to do before they uh we get started in terms of character like uh uh i think i'm good i just have one question regarding my roll ability uh, i mm -hmm. i put the points in there well those i should just roll with the check I was wondering if those points will automatically be calculated into the... Maybe, I don't know. We'll find yeah, out. But... I haven't, I haven't, we haven't had a solo yet. Uh, I'm going to roll something just to see. Okay. Just for just for, just for for the fun of it, you know? Oh, we got a solo. Nice. That's good. <laughs> uh, how do I roll again? Uh, that button. Oh, it does. Yes, it's calculated in there. It has a bonus to attack one. Excellent. So, yes, it Perfect. works. Perfect. Excellent. All right. Does Ratchet have any visible weapons they're carrying? He only has his own side piece strapped to his waist. Okay. As long as you're so, at least packing something. Keep in mind, so uh, some weapons are cannot be concealed. Some weapons can be concealed. So like a very heavy pistol, it, it's so big, it cannot be concealed. Yeah. Um, Habit's got their heavy pistol concealed, but it's just it's not like <laughs> it's just kind of it's a very basic concealment. <laughs> I was gonna try and get the um, 
uh, installment to have the pistol installed in the arm. I believe that's something you can do with a sidearm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, it's it's kind of difficult to to start off with a lot of chromed out stuff when you're a net runner because you have to spend so much money on net running stuff. Yeah, I realized yeah. that. I was yeah. like, damn. Yeah. But you know, if if this turns into a full campaign and somebody wants to join and they want to be a chromed out out the wazoo person, you know, they can over time. All right. Uh, let's see here. All right, let me get this uh, other music set up. We're going to do... So I have my train music, and then we're going to do... What's a good... Uh, we'll do... Uh, As they're riding over, Habit's going to glance over to... We'll do this. Are we all on the train together, I guess, heading over there? Yep, all on the train together. Don't, I, don't, I, don't to, I am assuming it is the same deal as usual. What do you mean by that? It is 6,000 uh, eddies split three ways. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. That sounds fine to me. If I have to carry any of you back in a body bag. And then have it kind of raise an eyebrow. Are you, talk are you talking to Hornet about this? Uh, <laughs> some Well, to everybody, I guess. Okay, have it shows it you that they do have a cryo pump, uh, which is like a stick somebody in to get them to medical, medical health or whatever says, it's... I will do this, uh, but not for free. If I need to carry you out, I will charge you, and I expect the same treatment. That sounds fair. If you carry me out in a body bag, I suppose you can have a quarter of what I was supposed to get. Deal. I'll make I'll sure to try and carry you both out. In that case here, first one's free. And uh, Habit's gonna pass out uh, two dose, uh, a dose of uh, synth coke to a wraith and a and ratchet. Ooh. Ratchet will catch it. Let's see. Do we have a? Can I send this or? I uh, I don't know if you can send it, but I can drag it from character sheet to character sheet. And okay, yeah, give him. Should work. <laughs> All right. So you're giving them some synth coke. Yeah. All right. Hold on. Let me see here. Synth coke, synth coke. It kicks carries. like a horse, but you won't come down until long after the job's done. Thanks, Doc. Not the first oh, time. Oh, it sent it sent all three. Hold on. No, bring fine. it back to you. And then I'll just I'll just throw it on their sheet. Reduce your thing to one and I'll put it on there. Alright, sounds good. Synth coke. Just for habits and reference, I have an LED bio monitor probably oh, on my nice. arm somewhere okay. to show vitals yeah uh, if you've got a bio monitor my... i think uh let's see synth coke okay habit has an internal agent and uh, a chiron like heads up display are they able to link to like their to rates bio monitor as well i mean you can if you guys want to link up agents you can and then when her agent pings something you guys, it'll pop up in your, you pop up in your, your, your yeah. Chiron. Okay, I can link sort of my, my bio monitor to my agent. So if I link my agent to your agent, you might be able mm -hmm. to access my bio monitor. Yep. Let's swap phone numbers. Yeah, pretty that much. That's good. So <laughs> the way <laughs> agents work in this, the way agents <laughs> work in this me. game, they're like mini AIs. So you can just tell them what you want them to do and they can try and do it. Yeah. If you want them to link up, you can have them just link up. Yeah. All right. Okay. Have it all, uh, pull up there. Heads up display. If you, if you want, if you want them to be like a, you know, they, they in the in the description for their in their description in the actual booklet, they talk about like, oh, some people you might find that they you know set up uh, the AI to have you know, a specific name personality. Uh, they you know with Chiron they'll bite, make it so that they show up in the, inside their field of view things like that. It's, it's pretty crazy. Yeah, that's what uh, that's what habits running. Yeah. All right. So. Uh, the ride, you know, it was pretty short, uh, maybe about uh, half an hour of train ride, and then eventually uh, you get a, a, a banging on the on the side from Fox, pointing out the window. You realize that Fox hasn't really talked at all while you guys have been here. She just points and 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 gestures, uh, and she uh, 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 explain uh, points to to points up as you guys. Uh, she says as you guys can realize that you guys are next to the train now. Uh, right. As an 
as an action, or I guess out of combat action, I'm going to tap my head and activate my Sandy Vist... Sandy Vistin. Uh, oh, who does that? Zan Devastan. All right. Zan, Zan Sandison. Uh, to give me plus three to initiative uh, for but one it, minute. Oh, for one minute. You, I read so that you, wrong. So maybe, 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 do you want to activate it now? Or do you want to activate it, you know, when you I'll think combat's it when, about to start? when I think combat's going to start. I definitely, like, only, I didn't read the middle of that sentence and definitely just saw it lasted for an hour. So yeah. I did not read that correctly. <laughs> yeah. It has a cooldown for an hour. Yes, yes. Have All it right. brings up oh, yeah. their hypo and, like, a asthmatic kid taking a fat rip he's gonna do the same thing but it's loaded up with coke synth coke <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you're so activating is... your synth coke now yep what does a synth coke do last it gives you a plus one ref uh reflex oh yeah, plus one to your reflex yeah I'll, let's let's do some coke hell yeah i'll do <laughs> some yeah. as well it lasts oh, for four I... hours too in a, in a video game by the way in the video i game. i guess <laughs> i'll do the same thing <laughs> all right <laughs> Go ahead and just click the little the little drug button next to the the consume button next to the sink coke. Oh, okay. Alrighty. And it should automatically put it onto your characters once you do it. Awesome. All right. Oh, this music hasn't been playing. All right, let's go here. Gonna make the. All right, so let me activate this. So yeah, uh, she calls. You know, you guys do that. You guys all take your synth coke, and uh, she leads you to a to a ladder that leads up to a a hatch onto the roof of the train. Uh, you guys uh, climb up the hatch, and you guys are standing on the roof of the train when we start this. Uh, let me activate uh, this map. It's like the cyberpunk version of inspiring speech. Everyone yeah. does their coke. <laughs> Let me know if you guys can see. I can, yes. Looks like we're okay, going can... quite fast. Yeah. Oh god. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't have uh, a ground uh, image of the train tracks by himself, so I couldn't use my parallax yet. No, that's but I just use. I just. I just use. Uh... All right. So uh, you guys, and also their, your train does not look exactly like their train. It's, it's slightly different. Their train, the this is what you know. This is their train, and it looks like like that. Your train does not look like that. If you're lucky that they had parallel tracks, this would have been mm -hmm. hard otherwise, especially with no driver. Mm -hmm. Convenient. <laughs> so, uh, from here... Oh, sorry, the game's pause. Let me unpause it. From here, you guys will have to try and get across. Um, All right. you, you see that the best, the, probably the best place to jump from will probably be back over here, because it's a little bit higher, and it's closer, so you can kind of land onto it. Or you can try and jump from here. It'll be more difficult. Let's let's try to let's try not to like kill ourselves immediately uh, and, and go with the easy route. Yeah. <laughs> Habit, run up, man. Yeah, Habit's stumbling along. Uh, they uh they're gonna mumble under their breath. Uh, a timer up for ten minutes, and uh, a timer will start ticking down on their HUD. All right. Uh, let me go here for this. And we're going to put on this music. All right. He wants to go first. As they say, ladies goes first. Mm, I thought you'd good. never ask. All right. I will, I will attempt we're... to jump. All right. Give me an athletics. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So when you say athletics, you mean athletics. Okay. I see. Okay. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Okay, that's not bad. 14. All right, you you jump across safely. All right, I land and I look back at the other two. Come Ratchet on, slow folks. Will, Ratchet will tilt his head back to have it take 10 feet back and then run forward and jump. All right, go ahead and give me athletics. I am going to attempt to catch them if they do not roll very well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, you make it across safely. Not bad for flesh. All right, I will motor uh, calculate trajectory, and then uh, the heads-up display will pop up, and then they'll go and try to jump. All right, you in athletics. All right, Ooh. great. You guys all jump. 
jump across safely. And you realize that as you guys are jumping across, you like are landing like like really really well. Uh, seems like it was no no issue at all. All right, you can see that there is a a hatch for this train as well. Let's go down and see what we can find. Get those crates, yeah. He's yeah. Just, just a moment, and uh, Habit's gonna like kind of look around up here. Uh, does it look? Mm -hmm. What sort of defenses is this train running? Like uh, um, exterior turrets or anything? Uh, you don't see any exterior turrets that are obvious out here. But if you want, you can go ahead and give me either uh, a perception or a basic tech. We'll do. Basic. Actually, no. This is this is actually no. It will be perception in this case. What if they? Okay. <laughs> can we all do that, or just him? Yeah, if you guys, if you guys want to try and see if there's anything up here, yeah. Okay. What can I do? A land vehicle tech? Because I'm looking at. Okay, yeah, that can that, that can work as well. You could do land right. vehicle tech. Yeah, okay, much better at that. Oh, I'm thinking of one though. <laughs> oh, but you got uh, another one, so it's eleven. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. All right, uh, Ratchet, looking around, uh, you do see uh, like there are some uh, wires that are up here that seem to be connected from something to something else that are on this on this thing. You do see there's uh, uh, there's the uh, part of the engine that's out here that you guys could probably, you know, mess up or something like that. Um, uh, Habit, with your land vehicle tech, um, uh, you do see that uh, there is the engine up here um, and maybe it could be messed with, but you're not sure like exactly how, what, you know, what messing with it would actually do. Eh, uh, too much time. All right, fine, old man. So remember the plan. In and out, five minutes, right? Yes. Uh, I'll glance down and see that, like, I don't know, probably like eight minutes on the clock or something. Mm -hmm. First things right. first. Are we leaving bodies or no? Have a shrugs. Have their shotgun. If you, if you want to know about the red, Lung, the red chrome uh, legion uh, and what they're about, uh, somebody can give me either a a. Uh, uh, hold on, let me check something. Somebody can give me either a streetwise or a local expert. Hmm. Uh, let me see what I... I think I have local expert. Uh, yes. Uh, I can... I'll, I'll do it. I got local. First, streetwise. I can try that. All right. Oh, hell yeah. All right, you guys are pretty, pretty... Okay, so you know that the Red Chrome Legion are... Uh... Hold on, let me get this right here. All right, Red Chrome Legion. Uh, the Legion is a... Uh, the, you know, they're, they're a neo-fascist hate gang. This is just a bunch of young people who decided to, like, join up to say they hate stuff. And so... Uh, uh, they like, they're very, uh, you know, they wear uniforms, they're very militaristic and pretty much they're like, they pretty much, uh, attack anything they think is not right. Mm. Just a hate Ratchet, group. They're, they're a, hate, a hate game. Ratchet puts his hands on his, um, pistol, brings it out. Well, that settles it then. Nope. We're leaving bodies. Just watch where you aim the thing. If you All right. Don't open the hatch. Careful not to set off any alarms. Does anybody want to take a look at the hatch? Rat I, ratchet will light too. Okay. Uh, so yeah, looking at it, just place you know, looking at it, there seems to be some type of type of, of magnetic lock on it. But you see a control panel. Oh, this early then? <laughs> it's not. It's not necessarily a. a, a hacking panel it's more like like a keypad type of that you know would be looking for like an I, like a id you can uh use uh, electronic security to try and crack it um uh -huh. this All thing right. is not like set up to a network or anything like that yeah have it holds out uh the one of the hands it's not tending to the cigar and uh you see a screwdriver pop out from one of the fingers and they'll move up they are trained in security tech 
You can also uh, try and pick lock it as well. Either one of those uh, would work. Not trained in that. We'll try the security tech. So uh, okay. yeah, have it all pop the uh, cover off and uh, start screwing with wires. Uh, all right. All right. It takes you. It takes you a little bit, but you do uh, uh, release the the. Uh, you do now have control over the lock. It is connected to your your agent. So you can uh, press a button and it'll unlock. Okay. Um, do <laughs> they didn't for chance disable any sort of alarm or anything? They just got the uh, the lock. Yeah, you got the lock. Yeah, habit shrugs. We'll turn the key and uh, open the lock. All right. You it is unlocked. You can lift it up and open it if you want. I will step back. All right, you also, soldier. You, yeah, no, so sorry. let me know what you what you want to do. It is it's, unlocked. Uh, it's unlocked. I make no promise beyond that. Well then, soldier girl, your nets. All right. And uh, that's the cue to jump down. I will. I will jump down that's, with zero regard for my safety. Oh, is it not? Right. Oh, just kidding. <laughs> oh, do you want me to beat the shit out of it? I'll do that. Oh no, it's, it's unlocked. <laughs> it's, it's, it's unlocked. Oh, I, okay. I just didn't want to open it. Oh, <laughs> coward! <laughs> I open it. Are right, you just open it? Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, so you open it. Uh, okay, you open it. You do see there's a bunch of cargos, uh, like cargo, like boxes and stuff like that under where you open it. And then as you open it, somebody you hear somebody and let's say inside say, "What the heck was that?" And it, and uh, we're gonna go ahead. I activate my, my neural link thing. <laughs> nice. Uh, the to, same uh, stand. Yeah, the same. Right. I'm not going to be able to pronounce it. The, the thing that makes you go fast. All right. The, the, call it the Sandy. The Sandy. I'll activate Sandy. Let me add you guys, and then let me add them in. Hold on. I don't even know what stat uh, initiative is. Is it dex, I guess? Uh, I believe it's... Re I think it might be reflex, actually. Uh, looks like it is, yeah. I like how they ask you, do you want meat or net initiative? Yep. Oh, the net is for when I do the interface stuff, yep. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Going fast. Nice. All right, let me see here. Oh, I didn't roll them in yet. Hold on. Uh... Oh, one of them crit. Dang it. Oh, yeah. He's so fast. Uh, did you roll, Wraith? Uh, I did. Uh, I got, I got a, a 17. 17. Okay, for some reason, didn't show you. You, you rolled, so oh, uh, I'll press this button, and then hmm. I'll change it to 17. Oh, dang it. I mean, if you want to use that one, that's <laughs> fine too. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> Seventeen. I'm rolling publicly. I wonder why you couldn't see that. I don't know. I I don't know why I didn't go through. All right. Yeah, I see. I see the seventeen there. I just didn't. You didn't add it to the. Oh, I don't. For some reason. Maybe I didn't hit my token. I don't uh, know. I, I mean, yeah, I'm not sure. Okay, either way, we're we're in now. Okay, so. Um, let's go ahead and start this combat music. Which one did I have for combat music? This one. All right. So, uh, let's go ahead, start, begin combat. First person up is going to be, uh, uh, petulant, uh, booster. Uh, he is. Uh, he sees the thing open. And he's like, "What the heck is that?" He's gonna step over to here and uh, point his gun at it, ready to shoot if anybody's coming in. Uh, he's yelling, uh, "What's going on?" All right, uh, that's his thing. Hold on. So he's gonna be readying, ready to action. All right. Uh, next up is habit. Let's go say hello. I brought them a. Uh, oh, sorry, I paused. Yeah, there you go. 
You jump down? I brought them a gift, and uh, they're going to drop a flashbang down the hatch. <laughs> All right. Oh. All right. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, let's see, gear, flashbang. Uh, I don't think I roll it. Let's it's see. an athletics check to throw it. Oh, what if I just want to drop it but, down the hatch? <laughs> yeah, it, it's just dropping okay. it down the hatch. Is there a specific place you want to aim? Is it just below the hatch? Because uh, when you're looking, you, you haven't seen where they are down there. Oh, true. Okay. Um, where are they? Could, they? could they have like heard the sound? I guess of a person down there. I guess. I don't know. <laughs> You, I mean, you heard, you heard, you heard, uh, well, the door yeah, opened, not, the, someone Ham, yelled. Hammond doesn't care that much about it. Uh, All right. He's, he's going to, yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> he's just going right, to chuck it down. It. He's going to, okay. he's going to throw it so that it pings off against that wall and then bounces backwards. Okay. Like towards yeah, the center of the car. Okay. And you did a 15. All right. Let me just check something real quick. Uh, go back down. Yeah. I think we're doing grenade launcher, which DC yeah. is. Or thrown. There's a thrown. There's also a thrown one. Uh, there should be a thrown one, which is uh, it's a maximum of 25 feet. But I believe from your distance where you were, if you're right there, you're trying to throw it up there and there. Okay, we'll see. Okay. All right. We'll say it lands right here. All right. Uh, uh, let's see. Where's so my... have to roll a DP 15, resist uh, <laughs> torture and drugs. On a fail, they take uh, damage die and damage to your... Okay, and it's a five by five. So we'll say it's centered right there. All right. Okay, let's see here. Uh, yeah, you hit both of them. All right, so All right. you said it was a, if you press control and click on it, so it pops up so I can see it. I just wanna- There we go, okay. Yeah, I was trying to figure right. out how to do that. All right, 15, resist torture and drugs, okay. All right, this guy. Let me see, where is his resist torture and drugs? Does he even have resist torture and drugs? He, oh, he does. There it is. So there's that one. And then this one. Nice. All right, they both fail. So they get and the, so that means yeah, the they get the critical eye damage, to the damage eye and damage ear critical injury. All right, perfect. Unless they're running any chrome that negates it, which I mean, they might, I don't know. Uh, no, they don't. All right, damage I. Oh wait, no, damage I and damaged ear. So I think uh, for our benefit, the damaged eye is minus two to ranged attacks and perception checks involving vision, and the damaged ear is when they move further than four meters uh, on foot in a turn, they cannot take a move action on their next turn, and they have minus two to perception checks involving hearing. So I guess they have like some mad vertigo. All right. All right. Anything else on Habit's turn? Uh, nope. That's my action. Pass to Wraith. All right. Wraith. All right. Uh, I draw my cool great sword. Okay. And I will. Uh, I will. I will drop down the hatch. All oh, right. God. That's so rad. All right. <laughs> Hold on, let me drop you down. They get flashbanged, and then a lady with a, a great sword lands. <laughs> <laughs> oh hell yeah! Uh, so how much movement did that cost in order to drop? Dro down? Dropping, dropping to cost is no movement. Oh, you're so fucked. I'm so sorry. All right, hello. Uh, so I'm gonna make a. Actually, I'm gonna move right here. Okay. Between the two of them. I know there's no attack opportunities, but I want to position like there is. So as you drop down, this guy is going to take a shot at you. Yeah, that's He's fair. Like, okay, and you would have dropped. He would have took a shot at you when you were back there when you sure. first dropped down. So that yeah. would have been uh, 12 meters. Okay, let me check something. Uh, oh, I don't have his. Let me change his thing. Uh, you can see as you drop down, you see this guy is holding a shotgun. Oh shit! All right. Uh, yeah, there you go. From over there. Good luck. Yeah. Okay. That was a 15 he needed to hit. Okay. Alrighty. So we're going to go ahead and shoot, but he is, he does have all these, these uh, things help happening on him. All right. Uh, so here's the attack. Seven nice. misses. All right. Not miss. All right. All right. So yeah, go ahead and do what you were doing. And I'm going to take my great sword and I'm going to, uh, what kind of weapon does the, uh, mellow booster have? 
They both have shotguns. They both have shotguns. All right, well... Yep. I like that guy's gusto, so I'll attack Mello first. All right. And I'm going to expend... Uh, if you, if you press points. if you press T when you target them, mm -hmm. stuff should show up, I think. Oh. I think I set it up for sword. I don't know if I set it up for sword. I maybe set it up for sword. Oh, okay. Let's see. All right. So let me expend two luck points and I will attack. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Oh, All right. that's a 30, 30 to hit. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I see the animation of this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have Let's see. Chew another cigar. You, you're doing. That, you, you're you're attacking a, a petulant or mellow. I did mellow. Okay, mellow. Yeah. Okay, mellow. She can try and dodge. Uh, evasion. Evasion. evasion <laughs> Good evasion, luck. Evasion. Where's evasion? Oh no, that's education. Uh, evasion. There. Skills. Yeah. There. It's different on a on a NPC uh, stat block. Yeah, All right, sure. you hit her. All right, give me the damage. Right. Okay. Let me go open up my damage. You can just hit the little do the little droplet button on the on the chat. Oh, I didn't do that. Ooh. All right, oh. it's still, it's, it's still, it still went through. Okay. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, Twelve damage. We're gonna do the damage to her. Uh, when I do it again, my great sword has a rate of fire of two. All right, she's nice. seriously wounded. Which is All a right. sentence I have just said, which is <laughs> strange. Yep. All right, yeah. Go for the second one. Okay, I'm not expending luck this time, just rolling it. Uh... Mm -hmm. Oof. 23. Oh, 23. God. All Jesus. right, they're going to try, try and evade. Um. 13. <laughs> All right, give me that damage. All right, I'm really hoping for the double sixes. Come on. Oh. Ah, wow. Garbage. Oh, well. All right, four damage. All right, they are seriously wounded, though. I'm cackling like a maniac. All right, all right, go ahead. Uh, this is your turn. Yes. All right, Ratchet, you're up. Dropping down or staying up? Ratchet's gonna put a hand on Habit's shoulder, tell him to try and keep up as he just jumps down. All right, step there. And let me move it down. There you go. Okay. Oh, Hearing a though. Down there, sorry. Oh yeah, throw, I'll throw a cameraman down. Hold on. Uh, cameraman. Nice. All right. I should have had it down there for the sword, but I forgot. All right. Upon hearing, I I assume I see um Wraith do this right. Uh, I mean, yeah, as you, oh, one thing I forgot to mention, combat rounds in Cyberpunk Red are three seconds. You only have actions and movement. So yes, everything's kind of happening all at the same time. So yeah, you, as you're jumping down, you're seeing her slash up this lady. So yeah. All right. He's going to quickly pull out his own heavy pistol mm -hmm. and he, he's going to line up the shot and take aim at the one she already hit. All right. Yeah. We'll go ahead and set, set you up for pistol. And then, so you need to hit a 15 from there. Okay. You still have some movement. If you want to make it a easier shot, you can get closer. Three spaces is the ideal for, for a pistol. Oh, okay. In that case, uh, right here then? I mean, yeah, you can set there. That'd be, that'll be easier too. So I think now it's a 13. All right. He will shoot. That All right, yeah, that, that, that hits. Go ahead and give me a. Go ahead and roll damage. I want to aim for the head. You have to call that out before you roll. Oh, out. okay. I do. Okay. Yeah. All right. Almost Sixteen crit. damage. Still good. Damage, uh, I, All right. She is mortally wounded. These guys like I'm, unarmored. No, they're armored. Oh, they just don't have a lot of HP. Oh, fair enough. I mean, they had they, had, right. they do have a good amount of HP, but you know, their armor is not the best armor. With his remaining movement, he's going to take cover right here. All right. And he'll end his turn. 
All right. All right, Mello is going to stay their turn. They're going to make a death save. Oh, dang. They're oh. down. Yeah, mortally wounded means they're they're making death saves now. All right, death save. All right, they're dead. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, that's and that's as quick as it is. It's so crazy. Oh, hold on. Goodbye, homie. There you go. Rip. Dead. All right. Slash touch right. the sword and then blasted. Next round, uh, Kreshlin is gonna, uh, you're gonna see them reaching for their, uh, um, uh, what'd you call it? Uh, uh, actually, no, they're probably, knowing them, they probably just, just try and shoot with the, with the minus. So they're gonna point blank try and shoot Wraith with a shotgun. Okay. All right. So T, Kreshlin. Uh, they're gonna go ahead and shoot. Here it is. Here it is. There. And this has to beat my armor, right? Ooh. I no, it ha they have. So for them, oh, they needed to hit a thirteen. Right. They need to be a thirteen. They got a twelve. Okay. You miss. So miss. <laughs> he misses. All right. He's gonna uh, run into the run over here, and uh, he can't actually. He can't open the door because that's an action. Closing a door is free. Opening a door is an action. So he already shot. So he boxed up against the door. All right. Uh, all right. Next up is Habit. All right. Keep up. Keep up with these. And, uh, they're going to spit out their cigar, let it fly down the train, and then they're going to hop in. All right. So step, step right here. And then let me uh, take you down. There you right, go. I'll delete this camera. I can't delete it. I'll just drag it in the corner. So I, get I got it. it. I got it. I got it. I got it. All right. DV for shotgun. All right. Yeah, we definitely want to be within three for this. Gonna run right there and yeah, try to shoot with the shotgun. All right. Let's see. Top bar. Seventeen. All right. Your DV was a thirteen. Yeah, so seventeen hits. Go ahead and get a bit of damage. Twenty. Nice. All right. Uh. Oh, you didn't have him target. Okay, yeah. So here. Oh, my bad. Yeah. yeah, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Oh boy. Yeah, he's he's seriously wounded. He's not doing good. All right. And oh, then, you blast them. Let's see. They get any? Oh, they can't. <laughs> They'll move behind Wraith, <laughs> and then uh, end their turn. <laughs> All right, Wraith, you're up. All right. Sword comes for all. And I'm going to take two swings at him again. All right. Oh my, oh my god. god. I'm so Again? Sorry. I'm so Jeez. sorry. Remember, remember, you, remember, you can also aim with melee attacks. I know. I, I, yeah, I keep thinking, I think about it after I roll. I need to remember yeah. it before yeah. I roll. All I'll right, do go it ahead next and give me time. that damage. Okay. We'll see what happens to this guy. Oh, oh man. I oh, thought it was Damn, it was close. <laughs> All right. Uh, 15. Yeah, I don't think this guy's long. Yeah. He's mortally wounded. Okay, I'm gonna Please. do it again, but I'm gonna get called shot to his head now. All the right. coup de gras. <laughs> oh and my! Just, God. just for good measure, I'm gonna expend three luck points, which is all of my luck. Oh all my! Right. All of it. <laughs> yeah, all of it. Why not? All right. We we ballin'. All right. This is this is redemption for what happened last time you played. <laughs> yes, it is. It absolutely is. <laughs> oh, I was almost on a ten. Twenty-two. Oh wait, I forgot this. Uh, there's no way he can beat a 26 before. Maybe he can beat a 22. I forgot. I, I'm supposed to roll for for his evasion for both of those. Hold on, uh, evasion. He has a minus four. So, yeah, there's no. I mean, okay. I mean, that's pretty good, but that not wasn't enough. bad. All right, go ahead and give me that damage. Uh, I'm discovering through the the two one shots we played so far, melee combat just seems so powerful, and it's kind of crazy. 
Oh wait, so you you said you were aiming for his head, right? Yes. Oh yeah, I'm aiming. Okay, for so that would be that would be a minus eight to your twenty two. Okay, so that's still a. Uh... uh, that's a that's still fourteen. Fourteen. So, you think he still uh, failed? Yeah. So he still failed. Okay, good. All right. Aim right give shot, me a damage. Head. So what does this do? Does it just add more damage? Double no, it damage. means so that w it means when I press the button, it calculates it for for his head. Okay. Wow. All right. Uh, six. He doesn't. You know, he he takes damage, but all this means is that his death save counter is plus one. Okay. When you do more damage to somebody who's already mortally wounded. Oh, okay. so you don't. You can't kill the girl. Yeah. The, the only way that a person only dies on the start of their turn. Okay. Well, that's that's surprisingly so I, reasonable I, for Cyberpunk. Yeah. I take a great sword to his head, and he still he still stands, and I yeah, <laughs> and, I, and I and I wait. All right. Uh, all right. So uh, that's the end of your turn. You mm -hmm. still have some movement. Anything else you want to do with your movement? Uh, I guess I will stand here menacingly. All right. That'll all right. All right, Ratchet, you're up. All right, Ratchet's gonna peek around the corner, see that she pretty much has a handle. Mm -hmm. walk up and tell me if I can do this but could I intimidate the guy into telling me information is that something so uh, because um, unlike unlike D&D &D where it's like six seconds per round where you could say a lot in, a lot of times in this is that uh, you can say something but he won't be able to react until his turn he might die you know what I mean like you can say something and make a roll to roll your skill check. And then on his turn, if he's still alive, maybe he reacts to it or he dies. But he won't be able oh. to do it. Well, he, won't, he won't be able to do it like during your turn. He won't be able to react during your turn. Oh, in that case, then screw it. We're, we're popping bodies, boys. Right. <laughs> he might say something in his dying breath. Who knows? You don't know. But it's up to you. Nah, he'll take the aim action and aim at right. his head. All right. So make sure you hit aim when you're when you're pressing your uh, your thing. Mm-hmm. I did. It'll be a thirteen. Ah, oh, dang! Not enough. Ah, oh, damn! I should have left that. Okay. All right. So uh, also another thing about this, uh, I probably should mention when the 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 thing that you have to beat, you have to beat it. You can't meet. Anytime you meet something, it always benefits the defender. So okay. when you have to hit a thirteen, you have to beat a thirteen. Okay. Yeah. All right. Anything else on Ratchet's he turn? He'll move to the side right here. End All right. his turn. All right. Go back to his turn. We'll see. He has to do a roll. He has to roll for his death save. He has a plus one to it. No, he's dead. He's All done. Right. Cooked. He's dead. All right, and that's the end of combat. All right, wow, it went surprisingly well. Don't change it. That was that was two rounds, so it was six seconds. All right, any noticeable chrome on either of these boosters? Uh, they uh, let me see, let me see here. Uh, not necessarily. Uh, you do see they have tech hair. <laughs> All right. Have, hey. have... <laughs> oh, I have it. Remember, it takes four hours to remove fiberware safely. You could just rip it out, but it'll be destroyed. Yeah. Well, I thought you could repair it later, right? Yeah, if you have a tech to All repair right. it. Yeah, Habit's going to scalp. Habit's collecting scalps. All Brings right. out their oh, scalpel from their medic bag. And yeah, before you guys even turn around, Habit's got this one's scalp. I know a guy. We will split profit. All right. Sounds good to me. And habit. Before I go any any further, do you want to put a five minute timer up? Hmm. Yeah, they they'll glance at the HUD, and if it's not uh, updated, they'll they'll mutter into it to update time to five minutes, and then uh, they will reload their shotgun. All right. I forget to reload. Can, can Ratchet grab one of their shotguns? Yes, you can. And if possible, he can he'll look for the ammo to it that's on All their right. person. All right, I'll drag them onto your sheet. They have a poor quality shotgun. <laughs> so you now have a poor quality shotgun. And they have, uh, it's already, it should already have some stuff in it. 
uh, already. Yeah, he, this guy only shot once. So no, this person didn't. This person didn't get a chance to shoot at all because they died by the start of their turn. So it's a fully loaded from that from Mellow, and and they had six slugs. Okay, nice. All right, so there's six slugs on your sheet. Anybody want to grab uh, the other one's shotgun? No. All right. I will. Poor, Why not? So, I'll, so poor I'll pick it up. Poor quality shotguns mean that uh, if you roll a, a one, they get jammed. <laughs> nice. Ooh, rough. He's the disc rough. I also think they have a negative one on, on attack as well. All right. So you're going to have a you're the proud owner of a, uh, of a poor quality shotgun and some shotgun shells. Oh, another thing they do have, they have rippers. That's another cyber word they have. It's like finger it's like fingernail claws. All right. Ooh. Quickly. Take the fingers. Yep, chop those Just chop it off. Well. Thing. All right, all right. Get pull, pull, pulls out the bone saw for this one. We don't have time for that. Mm, great, the little hand then. Uh, I, I I walk over with my great sword. <laughs> Hold out his hand. Are you just chopping off the hand? Yep. Absolutely. All right. All right. <laughs> nice. If if you can see past the helmet, Ratchet will be rolling his eyes right now. All right. We can't all afford to get full body chrome, Joom. It's not full body yet. Then maybe this will help. Right. Have it tucks the hands and the hair into their bag. There is a door there. All right. Guy slumped up uh, next to it, leaning on the floor. Missing May I open it, gentlemen? Can we can we ready our actions to like shoot? Uh, if you want to try and get an ambush, uh, you can go ahead and give me a give me a. Uh, if you think there's somebody over there, you can guys give me a stealth. Okay. Try and, you know, get him surprise on them. All uh, right. Let's see. Still. So the way stealth works in this game, and ambushing works in this game, it's not necessarily a surprise round. You guys just get uh, one action before before. Uh, the um, before initiative before initiative nice that works for me if we can get that yeah. yeah all right let me see here all right you guys uh i, I got those numbers <laughs> you open the door it's empty oh well oh. Right. okay slings their shotgun back over their shoulder uh do you think this train has any oh. Uh, net running architecture in it. So, so uh, as you walk in, let me describe this this train, this uh, car for you. All right. So, in this car, it is uh, pretty empty. Um, there are some major containers on the side, but you do see a lot of wires running on the north wall, and you do see some type of terminal right here. Uh, Ratchet, you recognize it as an access point. So you could net run in that uh, on that uh, on that access point. Oh, don't mind if I do. <laughs> You just immediately run over there and jack in. <laughs> oh, I'm going to use my action to jack in. Yeah. All right. Now, Ratchet, uh, does your does your Netrunner uh, avatar look diff any different from Ratchet? Uh, I'm going to say because of how much of an ego he has, it will look the exact same. All right. I thought for sure you were going to say look like this guy. So you jack uh, in. I don't have upload privileges. <laughs> here, I'll, throw cram I'll throw a camera over here so that you can see what's going on, uh, Will, for the for the stream. Okay. Uh, oh, no. There you go. All right. So, Ratchet, you jack in, and you kind of see yourself. Uh, the first thing you see inside this net architecture is a password. Oh, I my. We... I don't know if you see it over here. No, no, yeah. I see it. I see it. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Just for the sake of, so that, you know, Leia, you have you have something to look at, too. I'm going to make this camera visible for you, too, so you can kind of see what's going on over here. Hell, yeah. Uh, there you are. Um, for my first action, I'm going to activate my worm booster. All right. Okay, I need to do that manually. How do I do that? Okay, so if you in your character sheet and you go to net, if you want to activate worm, 
next to it, next to it, there's like a little like up arrow. It means click to activate program. Oh, okay, I see it. Yeah. So you activate your worm. Uh huh. So uh, uh, we'll we'll go through this in in kind of like an initiative type of turn type of thing. So the first turn, the first thing you did was jack in. That was one. You mm -hmm. activated worm. That's two. You have one more. All right. I'm going to use the back door. All right. Net action to break through the password. All right. Off the clip. Okay. Yeah. Uh... All right, 14. Oh, uh, yeah, you break through the password. You can see the next level. Ooh. All right, as you do that, uh, well, let me see here. Mm. Wraith, go ahead and give me a perception. Okay. I lost my, there we are, okay. All right, Wraith, you hear you hear uh, something coming from uh, on this on this side of the door. It, it you heard uh, what it sounded like. Somebody said "out." It sounded like the word "out." Out. Yeah. Okay. And Rashi is a still bit, uh, bit, currently plugged in, right? Yeah. As you get a little bit closer, you hear somebody say, uh, "All right, see ya." Hmm. Right. Oh, sounds like they're, they're communicating. Okay. All right. Go ahead, uh, Ratchet. You go with your next thing. All right. I move forward. Uh, you see a file. On this level. There's a file on this level. I'm sorry. If it's gonna take, I'm sorry if it takes me a while. I'm, I'm no, going... Okay. Chart. It's okay. No, no, yeah, it's fine. Switch. So the, the one for file is called ID. ID is how you figure out a file. You also can just move over to the next floor if you want to. Skip it. Because there's no mm -hmm. password blocking you. But you don't know mm -hmm. what it is until you step Wait, into yeah, that take, floor. Take your time. We didn't get to see this portion on the uh, other one. Uh, okay, the ID for my first action. All right. I'll roll that. Oh. Oh. Uh, all right, 19 for sure. Okay, so um, this uh, file contains the manifest for all the cargo that's on this ship. I mean, on this on this uh, train. Uh, you notice that a lot of it has to do with uh, uh, military grade, uh, uh, some some uh, military grade cyberware, um, some uh, uh, materials to make and and develop uh, cyberware and weapons. Like hard, you know, rough materials, uh, but uh, with this manifest, you can see like it kind of has like a map of the, the train, and it shows like the location of where everything is stored. Uh, so you kind of see the first car that you know things were stored in this corner, this corner, that corner, and this portion. Things were stored in the second car in this location, and then in the third car, you see that there's something stored on the on the north uh, side, closer to the. Um, on the north side, and there's something taking up half of the cargo space on the south side. Um, you believe that, you know, looking through this, you probably could uh, figure out where the cargo you're looking for is because uh, it, this is showing everything that was on it prior to it taking off. Okay, okay. With that, he's going to move forward into the nets to go down to the nets level. All right. It's a password. So that's one you did one action. You have two you have two more actions. I mean, could you repeat the same back door or is it a one time thing? You can you can back door again. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh he's you realize gonna... this, this password is a little bit harder. Oof. He's gonna back door it again. All right. All right, thirteen. Uh yes, it works. Uh you back door. All right. Uh you can pass through the password. The next level. Ooh, okay. All right. So, uh, as you pass through the next uh, thing, you step open. It's a hellhound. Oh shit! All right. So, uh, as you go in here and you see the hellhound, we're gonna have to go ahead and roll initiative. At the same time, you can kind of see, you know, you know, Ratchet says that, 
And then at the same time over here, uh, this door uh, opens up race right in front of you. Oh, hello we're gonna there. Go ahead, we're going to go ahead and roll initiative. Okay. All right. Oof. So there's a couple things happening here. So uh, we're gonna go ahead, do this. You're wondering why Habit wasn't keeping, wasn't keeping watch. You can lance back, and they've got something loaded in their air, air hypo, and they're they're taking a, a big hit on it right as the door opens. Uh, Dom, can you roll initiative for me? Yeah, to yeah to uh, reload. Is that a is that a turret? Yes, you do see a turret hanging from the ceiling. Oh my reload? god. Oh, uh, you, you need you need you need me to roll initiative for you. Yeah. Oh, what happened? Uh, did it not show up? I can see initiative being rolled in chat, but nothing's popping up. Oh, uh, you don't see the uh, the. Uh, oh, initiative? I see it now. I, I see it now. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't know why when I roll my initiative, it's not going. It's so strange. Why? Can you, you press it? Can you click? Can you click it again? Yeah, I'm rolling it from I the just, uh, I rolled it from the tracker. Yeah, I think yeah, that's what I wasn't doing. Yeah, you got to roll it from the tracker. Yeah, I wasn't doing that. All right, we'll, we'll uh, go for your second. We'll go for your tracker one, which is the 12. Oh, sure. All right, which is better than what you what you rolled originally. All right, uh, Ratchet, you, you can't, you can't, uh, 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 what you call it? Oh, I need to put these guys in as well. Uh, all right, uh, you're, you're you're not able to roll initiative. Okay, there it goes. Oh, what the heck? Oh wow. Oh no, that was for the net initiative. Do you want me to roll that again for? No, you're, you're gonna you're gonna have to do. We're gonna so uh, there's gonna be a, there's gonna do regular initiative, and then oh, let me let me uh turn let me set reset you so you can do regular initiative. Okay. Uh, clear initiative. Go ahead and roll regular initiative. Net initiative is when you're fighting against other net runners, but oh, now, okay. But there is going to be something that happens here when you when since you so a couple of things are happening right now and I'm going to get set up. So go ahead, roll your regular initiative. Let me roll these guys regular initiative. If you click on the tracker and okay, there you are. Okay, now we're going to go ahead. Before combat starts, we're gonna find out what happens with you and your last thing when you saw this, this hellhound. Okay, so for this hell count, hellhound, um, what I need you to do is roll your speed. My speed, okay. Yeah, speed button. Uh, who? All right, so. You uh, the, so the way hellhounds work, and you would know this as net run, is that the first time a hellhound sees anybody that's not supposed to be there, it it gets to make a free attack, and the way you you defend against it is by doing a speed speed roll against each other. So since you won the speed roll, you don't get hit by attack. But now this hell this hellhound is on you, and it's going to follow you throughout this the rest of this architecture until you either slide away from it or kill it. And okay. for those who wants to know what a hellhound looks like, this is what it looks like. Nice. So All right. Cool. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and begin combat. Uh, uh, you do have your one action. So finish your one action, and then we'll 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 go over to starting actual initiative. Okay. Seeing the hellhound, he's going to activate sword. <laughs> All right. Nice. So rate this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sword. It's a 13. It's going to try and defend. All right, it fails. So go ahead and roll that damage. Oh, if I target him. Sorry. All right. So sword uh, has two things. It has damage for when you're attacking non-black eyes, and it has damage when you're attacking, attacking black eyes. So right now, uh, Hellhound is a, is a type of black eyes. So go ahead and reroll that damage again, but this time use, or actually just give me another d6. We'll add it to, no, no, you know, we'll do, do this the proper way. You didn't know. So go ahead and hit the damage button again, but this time hit, hit 
uh, a targeting black eyes, hitting black eyes. Oh, oh, I, okay, I see it. There you go. Yeah, that's much better. All right. So it takes 13. All right. All right, it takes 13 damage. Still going though. All right, so we're gonna go ahead here. Uh, we're gonna have it roll initiative. Oh yeah, okay. Um, so the way hell, the way black ice work is that they're always at the top of initiative order. Um, when you're first triggered, they move directly up to the top. So let me. That's why they don't have a actual roll. So I just have to put the number in. Um, so they're going to be at, we'll put them at 100. All right. All right, and so let's begin combat. All right, so first first things up is it's going to be this this Hellhound. Okay, the Hellhound's going to attack you, uh, Ratchet. All right. All right, so you got to do a defend. Oof, rolled really bad. Ooh, no. A zero. Oh, it's good. Oh. That's good. I mean, you can roll. You can if, if it's possible to get a negative by rolling a one. So you got to roll. Okay. All right. Yeah, you're defended. All right. Oh, all right. Yeah. So that's all it does. So next up is going to be kind-hearted booster. Kind-hearted yeah, booster. Kind-hearted. Is the one that walked up right in front of you and it's like, oh crap, what the heck? They're gonna uh, instinctively take a shot with their with their shotgun. Actually, they probably wouldn't have their shotgun in their hand. They're gonna go ahead and, and try and scratch you with their with their rippers. Ooh. All right. So ripper one. Uh oh. Nineteen. Yes. You, gotta, you gotta do it. You gotta do an evasion. Okay. Let's you gotta try. beat it. You gotta you gotta meet or beat a nineteen. E. Oh no! Oh, you get hit. bummer. Yeah, All right. I do. All right. Only three damage. Uh, your armor Only once you damage. your armor just your armor just soaks all of it. Hey. All right. Yep. All right, Did my go armor go down because of that? No, because it didn't go. It didn't. It didn't do enough damage to go past your armor. Oh, okay, so my armor only goes down if it goes past my eleven. Yep. Gotcha. Okay. All right. Okay, he okay. he he tries to scratch you, and he's like, "What the heck?" Realize he's scratching on like your armor, and he's like, and he's gonna try again. 16. 16. Okay. All right. You dodge it. All right. Uh, what he's going to do is he's going to run because <laughs> he can't, she can't shoot you. All right. All right. Next up, Ratchet. You're in the, you're in the matrix. Uh, go ahead. What are you doing? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Now... Three net actions while you're in here. Okay, three, three net actions. Let me see. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, you, keep in mind, you're also still in yourself in the meat space. So if you want to not do anything here, you can do your one action in meat space instead. But I can't move away from the panel, right? You know, you have to be at least six meters away from. You could be. You can't be more than six meters away from it. If you go, if you get more than six meters away from it, you get jacked out. Uh, you get force jacked out, and everything that can attack you can attack gets one free attack against you as you jack oh, out. Okay. Um. You know, I trust them to have my back. Hopefully, mm -hmm. so I'm gonna do activate sword again. All right. Another oh. one. Oh, it rolled a one. Yeah, this not. Oh man, this this thing, this poor hellhound. All right, yeah, go ahead and give me that damage. All right. All right, uh, eleven. Okay, it's All right. still up. No, the hellhound has been derezzed. It has. Ooh. Oh, thank God. All okay. Right. Okay. He's gonna just. Rush forward. All right. Oh, uh, the game is still paused. Oh, sorry. Rush forward. Find a control node. Okay, control node. Uh... You don't know what it controls unless you ID it. 
Damn. Okay, I, I'll ID it. All right. So you use your one to sword, your second one to ID. Go ahead and give me that ID. All right, 12 is enough. You know that this thing controls an automatic turret in the next car over. Oh. I'm good. Okay, third action, control. Okay. To take control of it. All right. I'm going to put a... Uh, I'm going to put three Lux into this. Okay. Oh, dang. So that's spend Lux, three... All right, ten is enough. It was a D. Is a DV eight. You oh, made it because God. you put those right. three in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you now have control of this turret. The way tur the way this automatic turret works is that you set it to to target one creature, and then it automatically shoots at them until they're dead or until it can't shoot them anymore, and then it goes back to being dormant. But that's all my actions. Uh, no, part of your control taking control is that you give it one. You give it one. You can give it an issue. You can issue it a, it issue it a command by taking control of it. Oh, in that case, I'm going to have it shoot at talkative. All right. All right. So um, the way this works is that uh, when uh, because it's an automatic turret, you're not you don't have to have direct control of it. You can give issue a command and it, it does its own thing. It has its own stats. So uh, it's going to go ahead and take a shot at, uh, at talkative and it's going to continue shooting at it until it gets more commands. Oh, that's awesome. uh, that so this thing, so cool. This thing has uh oh it's a it's a, okay it's a uh it's a uh, heavy submachine gun turn. All right, so is it like on the ceiling? Uh, yeah, it's on the ceiling. So this so habit's about to yell out to ratchet like, hey, we need some help here, and then the the, the this turret that's hanging from the ceiling just turns and starts blasting one of the boosters. Yep, <laughs> amazing. Gosh. All right, did he hit I just, 15? I just saw those, those like, Netrunner levels on the right side here. I didn't see those. That's really fucking cool, yep. with the effects and everything. Sorry, I just wanted to say how cool it was. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, it's great. All right, here's the attack. It hit. Here's the damage. All right, eight. Talkative, talkative uh, booster. All right, takes the damage. All right, uh, that was your three actions, uh, Ratchet. And do I have enough movement speed to? I think so. I you, do. You, you're at the bottom of the net architecture. Oh, that's it. Yep. Oh, you have, you have full control of this net architecture now. Awesome. But that's all my actions, so uh, yeah. I'm gonna end my turn. <laughs> all right. Next up is gonna be uh, the unbiased boss. Ooh. Has heard uh, 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 people yell, and is going to step out of here to figure out what's going on. They step out and they see you through the door, and they're going to be like, "What the heck?" And they're going to go ahead and try and shoot you. Uh, Rafe. Okay. Um, quick, quick question. Let me just make sure we're okay mm -hmm. here. Uh, they have. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do they have that? No. Yeah, they have. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what happens here. Uh, they have an assault rifle, you see. Okay, interesting. Yep. And uh, they're going to go ahead and try and shoot you with their assault rifle. Okay. Uh, it's a 15. They got a hit from there. Eighteen. Yeah. Now, already. what what is your what is your 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 reflex with the synth coke? Oh, uh, not high enough. I don't think it's only okay. a plus two, right? It's a plus one. The synth coke gives it plus oh, one. Oh, alas, no. It's a seven with the synth coke. Oh dang. Okay. All right. In that case, then uh, eighteen hits. So we're gonna figure out how much damage it goes through. Okay. Oh. Twenty one. That's a lot of damage. Yeah. At least there wasn't two sixes in there. Yeah. yeah it was close. Oh man. All right, but you only took you only took ten damage. Your armor took a lot of it. All righty. All right. That's what she does, and then she steps around the corner to get into cover. And then, like, habits bio monitor flashes to life. They realize that the uh, shooting's going down. All right, Reef, you're up. Hey. Okay. 
Uh, she walked away. She's out of she, my range. She got, okay. she got into cover. Yeah. All right. So this turret is uh, aimed at talkative over here, right? Mm hmm. All right. Time to help out the turret then. I will take my sword and attack this fellow over here. All right. You're attacking talkative or kind hearted? Uh, talkative. All right. 23. All right, <laughs> let's see if he can evade a 23. Nope. Mm, close. Right, you a damage. No. Okay, there you go. Ah, uh, so close. Damn. All right, uh, he takes the 12. All right, ooh, he's seriously wounded. He's not doing good. Again. All right. Fourth level fighter wishes they were me. Okay. <laughs> sure. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> 23 again oh buddy I'm sorry yeah the only way they can beat those is if they get a 10 and roll high enough yeah the melee just seems so strong it's kind of crazy I mean, you, ha you, have, you have a high dex and a high melee skill so it's really good yeah yeah okay alright I guess the only trade off is it's got a low crit chance yeah, yeah it's not, not right. as many uh, these he is mortally wounded D. I'm gonna hope the turret can take him out, but that will be my turn. All right. All right, Habit, you're up. <laughs> okay. All right. Habit quickly stows their uh, air hypo, rushes over here. Um. Let's see. Okay, so I have. Okay, so I have a smoke grenade. Mm -hmm. Task obscured by smoke have a minus four penalty. Yep. Um Do I feel like? If I threw, if I was able to throw that in here with the boss, that they wouldn't be able to like shoot as well out through the smoke. No, if they if they're in there and they're trying to shoot through the smoke, unless they have some type of cyborg that lets them see through smoke, they're gonna have a, they're gonna have issues. Okay, well we'll give it a shot. Um, all, right. all right, where you, you're tr you're trying to throw it to to right here. Uh, it spreads out as ten meters, so <laughs> yeah, it's a five by five. Oh, it's a five by five. Okay. Yeah. It's a five by five cube. Um, uh, in terms of uh, spaces, we wanted to we're gonna yeah throw it right there because then it'll come out one two three. We want it to be like so that the they have to come out of the door to mm -hmm. to not be affected by it. Um, and yeah, we're gonna burn two luck on this. All right, it's athletics. Oh, wait, yeah, I gotta remember to. Okay, athletics. And then yeah, I'll throw up the smoke grenade. Smoke grenade. All right, so Habit rushes up, reaches into their pocket, or reaches, they probably have like a belt. They grab it off the belt, prime it, and then chuck it past uh, mm -hmm. Wraith here, hopefully. <laughs> Athletics with a plus two. All right. Let's see what your DV would have been. Oh, uh, nice. Ooh, nice. All right, yeah, regardless, yeah. Uh, it's more. It's less than 25 feet. So you can the maximum you can throw is 25, 20, uh, 25 feet, you wanted to throw it here, you rolled really high. So, um, yeah, we'll say it happens there. Let me go ahead and throw this square, this uh, template down. 10 by 10. Nice. And it's centered. You wanted to be... Yeah, just so the edge of the smoke was coming out of the door. So they'd have to get out of their cover. Or All at right. least couldn't shoot from behind it. Just um, like that. Yeah. And then... All uh right. Have it'll duck back behind this wall. <laughs> I think they have enough movement. Yep, they do. All right, duck behind this wall, and uh, end their turn. All right. I say, Wraith, watch out! That one looks like she's packing some heat. Oh, I can tell by the bullet holes in my arm. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Where's, where's my, where's my? Uh... No, no, we'll do a uh, fog, fog cloud. Gotta get my my JPUA stuff set up, you know. Would Ratchet be aware of what's going on outside, or is he yes. just stole yes, because, so the way it works? Because you have virtual reality, you're seeing the you're seeing both the digital landscape that you're seeing and the real life happening at the same time. So you can you're seeing exactly what everything's going on. Oh, you can okay. even you can even move uh, as long as you stay within six meters of this of this thing. You can move and still do your thing. It's just that if you chose if you choose to net run, you spend all your all your time doing uh, doing your three net run actions. If you spend it. Doing a meat action, you only get, you only get your one action of like shooting or something like that, while still being. Oh, in the okay, okay. So you're like you're in two places at one time. Okay, that's okay. I, I understand. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, okay, so let me see here. Uh, uh, where did I put this thing? Yeah, fill texture right in there. There you go. Amazing. I'm fully Ooh, immersed. Yeah, fully immersed. immersed. All right. You hear them like coughing and like saying, oh, what the heck? All right, go ahead. Uh, have it. So you threw that and you moved into cover. All right. Yep. And then and next up, it? Chummy. Uh, Chummy is going to be like, oh, ugh. and they're going to uh, mm -hmm. move over to here. Oh, I didn't here. see them. Uh, yeah, that was uh, one, two. Three, four. There it is. So he gets right there. And they come out and they're going to, uh, they see you kill talk, like pretty much bl mess up talkative. The turn is get, is doing this thing too. And it's going to, oh crap. And then it's going to go ahead and try and shoot, uh, shoot you, Wraith. Okay. Good luck. With its shotgun. Oh, jeez. Uh, with their shotgun. Uh, 13. Oof, that's a low, uh, low DC. Yeah, I think you probably try want to try and dodge. Oh, All right, miss. <laughs> you realize that as they're as they're like you as you've noticed, these people seem to not be trained well with shotguns. Why they all package shotguns? What the heck? Yeah, you're, you're wondering why. Oh, okay, interesting. Hmm, interesting. Okay. All right. Uh, let me see here. This guy's got a zero initiative. Uh, yeah, that's it for that. And then talkative uh, is going to have to go ahead and roll a death save. One of them's got to pass, right? Nope. <laughs> Jeez. He's dead. dead. <laughs> oh, my God. It's so what do you... Okay, so he rolled an eight on that die. Uh, yeah. That's that's high for a d10. What do you have to roll to not just die? You don't want high. Yeah, you want to be as low you as possible. You don't want high. Yeah, you want to oh. be below your body. So if, you have a high, if, you, if, you, if you have a high body, you have a better chance of staying alive. Yeah, so even if this guy was huge and was like body eight, he'd still die, right? Because he got. Yeah. Eight. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. That makes sense. Okay. All right. Next up is going to be Kind Hearted. <laughs> kind Hearted. Kind Hearted Booster is going to run over, going to run over, and try and take control of this, uh, this, uh, um, uh, uh, turret. Oh, jeez. All right. He's going to go ahead and roll, see if he can do it. Uh, he's not the best at uh, technical stuff, but that's what he wants to do. All right. So uh, we're going to go ahead and. Uh, uh, oh, I forgot about this. Hold on. Automatic turrets, once they're, once they're activated, they instantly go up to the, 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 stop, the top of the initiative. So you activated it. I'll roll it, but it's going to go up to the top because it always goes first. So this turn would have went first before him. Um, update that. Hundred. Okay, so let me go back up. He would have been here. Still. The turn would have went went and tried to shoot talkative, but talkative was dead. But it just stayed still, and then it was his turn. Now he's gonna run over there and try and grab it. Okay, make sure I get this in the right order. All right, so he runs over. He's gonna try and activate the 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 um, thing. Um, all right, uh, see here, he's going to just roll tech because he doesn't have any skills in any, anything else. Oh, 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 no. oh man, 16. All right, 16, it's control of it. And he's going to tell the shoot wraith. All right. Oh man, I have to take control again. <laughs> Ratchet. <All right. laughs> You hear you you just see Ratchet from the corner of your eyes giving you a thumbs up. It's a mechanical whirring <laughs> <laughs> as it too. Right. Have it crouched in the corner. Sixteen. Oh. Uh, wow, that I, has a really high. Yeah, wow, really good. Okay. Uh, it needed to beat it. It needed to beat a fifteen though, but it beat it. Shh. All right, here's the damage. Okay. Oh no, it's light. It's light. Only That's six. Not bad. Right. I'm pretty sure armor. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure armor will take care yeah. of it. Yeah, yeah, that'll that'll take it. Nothing. Nice. Nothing changes. All right. Yeah, nothing. All right, you're good. All right, Kindheart. That's what Kindheart does on his turn. 
It's uh, a insane to hit though. That's wild. Yeah, turns really good at, at aiming. Yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. Good thing. Good thing they don't. They don't do aim shots. Unless they're specific, <laughs> unless they're specifically di designed to. There might be yeah. a sniper rifle uh, turret. You never know. All right, Diamond ratchet, you're up. Okay. See that the turret is not on our side. Can I take back control? Yeah, you can use your. You can if you want to do that. But then your that's your entire action of using your net actions to control. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, we got to get rid of that turret. I'm going to control. Right. I'm going to spend right. my last two luck on right. this. Mm -hmm. Come on. Oh, Oh no. Dang. Oh, no. No, you're not no. able to get con to control it. You can't try again. You have three actions. I'm doing it again. All right. <laughs> we can't afford this. 11? All right, you get control of it. What's the, what's the orders? Have it shoot at, um... Uh, Kindhearted. All right. Since that's the one who took, who took control of it, right? All right, yeah, so on its turn, it's going to shoot... It's going to it's gonna turn and shoot uh, Kindhearted. Battle for control of the turret. <laughs> exactly. So, if I were to jack out, would the turret still be... It's, it's going to follow its last command, unless somebody changes it. Okay. Ooh. Uh, should I stay in? <laughs> I don't know. I... Mm. Also, you know as a, you. as a net, as a net runner that when you jack out of a, unless you leave a virus that lets it so that you when you come in it stays the same it it was before. Whenever you jack out of a net architecture, it resets. So you have to go through the whole thing again if you jack out, unless you leave oh. a virus that says otherwise. Like you get... oh shit. So mm -hmm. you still have one net action left. If you want to leave a virus, you can leave a virus in here and then jack out. You also okay, you know, okay. keep in mind that this is also a, a Militech uh, 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 train. And, you know, this, this is probably future Ratchet's problem, but jacking <sighs> out without cloaking first might make it so that somebody comes in here can find out who, who stole this train and maybe it'll be you. Maybe they think it's you. Okay, you know what? Last action, virus. Okay. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to roll for it first. All right, go for it. This is just an AI virus. All right, decent number. Okay, 11. All right, I have that recorded. All right. I'm going to have the virus be that for the turret to not target friendly faces. Oh, you're going to up you're going to upload like our we've all got bio monitors, I think. So he's going to upload like our bio monitor data. data. So you're, you're, I, you're so you're changing the uh changing the uh the uh the coding for who is a uh, uh, friendly and who is a a uh, a um, hostile. Yeah. So anyone who is not ratchet habit or wrath wraith is hostile. We're th we threw the only friendly ones. Okay. So keep in mind that the way the way turns work is they're they're issued a command and then they they work. So yes, you can leave this virus here, but somebody can just go through and and active and change the give it the next command and it's going to you know say like hey are you sure you want to shoot this friendly target and then you can just say yes oh um, yeah oh, so man. what you could do is lead it so that maybe if it shoots somebody it uh you know maybe it deactivates when it's when it's ordered to shoot a friendly instead of something like that you know what i mean okay like, i'll do I'll, I'll do that okay <laughs> you can have it shoot the control panel when it's ordered to shoot a friendly you can you can you can also have it shoot the control panel <laughs> You know what? I like that. The, I like that suggestion. We'll do that. Okay. So, okay. So, um, I guess hmm, let me let me make sure I'm, I I get this this correct. Controlling is giving it an order. Leaving a virus means that this is how the next architecture works for like the next time somebody comes in here. So you you rolled your virus. You now left a pretty much a you you alter this net architecture um, to make it so that the next time somebody gives this uh, control this uh, turret a command it's going to shoot the command the command center instead yes okay all right all right so yeah those are your three actions okay i'm stuck here ratchet i mean hobbit do your thing i'm a past all right unbiased boss it's gonna go next unbiased, unbiased boss is gonna not like being inside this uh, uh this smoke um uh, hmm you see what what else do they have on them? Uh, 
She doesn't want the smoke. Or they don't want the smoke. All right, they're gonna go, they're gonna, uh, hmm, hmm, hmm. yeah, they're gonna see them uh, uh, step out of the smoke, uh, step up to here, and they're going to go ahead and do some suppressive fire. Okay. All right, so they're going to go ahead and do suppressive fire. All right. Nice. So what they're doing is a uh, uh, suppressive fire means that uh, on your turn, Wraith, you have to beat a concentration uh, uh, skill check. If you beat the 16, okay. then you, you act normally. If you fail, you have to use your entire action to get in the cover. Okay, gotcha. Right. So that was her action. She's gonna uh, go ahead and pass to you. So right, go ahead so and give I'm me that concentration. That yeah. Ugh, I'm not very good at these. Be a sixteen. E. Ooh, e. Ooh. Ooh, it's getting Oof. worse. All right, you gotta use your you gotta use your entire turn to get to cover. Okay, uh, which I believe will be back here. Yeah, you can get behind that... these uh these boxes. Oh, these boxes right here. Okay. Sorry. All right. So is, do I have to use my action to do that as well? Well, uh, um, yeah, you have to spend your entire turn just getting into cover. Damn. Okay. Alrighty. I got into cover. All right. Have it. You're okay. already in cover, so you're not affected by it. All right. So you can act normally. Um, <laughs> have it reaches down to their belt. They go for yet another grenade. All right. Yeah, let's see. So she had to hold your nose, and then they'll duck around the corner, throw a tear, gra tear gas grenade. <laughs> <laughs> All right, go ahead and give me athletics. Where are you aiming? Uh, let's see. Uh, it is a... What's the size of this thing? Um, my bad, sorry. I don't know how big the uh, area is. Uh, it's a five by... It's it all, Almost all grenades are five by fives. Oh, same as the smoke? Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll throw it at this at the door. You're throwing it at the door? Like to land like right behind uh All right, right, right there. All yeah, right. yeah. All right. Athletics. So I'll be a 15. You got to hit a 15. Oh, only a 12. 12. All right. So instead of being here, a 12. All right. So I want to say it lands... Uh, Three, we're going to say it lands right under the turret. <laughs> okay. Well, it got down in the direction, but you can see how it started to sweat. <laughs> All right. I knew it was going to be a risky job, but... All right, 10 by 10. And also, they've been tweaking the whole time. Oh, we're my... all tweaking. <laughs> all of us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, this geez, is I'm just out of that. All right. Uh, hold on. Let me make sure I got the size right. The grenade goes off. The poison, the tear gas, uh, smoke stops just short of you, right? Have to right, so thumbs up. Let, hold on. Let me make sure I get this in the right spot. So it's centered. Return your thumbs up. <laughs> uh, it's centered right. Oh, I can't see my. I can't see my grid. There it is. Uh, no. Uh, I think that's it right there. Let me make sure this thing's 10 by 10, because I think I might have made it a little bit bigger. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, distance. Yeah. Uh, why, is it, why is it doing this? Hold on. Let me draw a new one because it's kind of it's acting really weird. But yeah, I think I'm thinking it's hitting. Uh... Probably just dupe the smoke. Yeah, there you go. There it is. Okay, so yeah, it doesn't hit you, right, uh, Wraith. And it's a uh, torture's drug check thirteen. Yeah. All right. So this person resists torture drugs. Okay. 
I really miss having the uh, the little uh, yeah, being able to combo it. Yeah, slug them all and have them all do it oh, one time. That one resists it. That one just okay. Die. So if they don't resist, then they get uh, damage to eye critical unless they've got uh, like chrome eyes, I guess. All right, let me see if this person does. Uh, no, none of them have it. All right, so uh, the only person who, su who, su who succeeded was Chummy. All right. All right, and then have it will duck back into cover. All right. Start ready in their shoddy. They get the damaged eyes, right? Uh, hmm. uh, yeah, uh, critical damage die, critical injury. You know, I'm, so on bias say, boss takes that. Let's say, uh, well, no, Wraith probably knows not to go into it. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, it's all right. Uh, let me see. Does it say? Uh, for one minute. Uh, oh, they have it for one minute. Uh, this does not. I don't think this thing lasts. Oh, okay. So it's, right. It like it like it's it like bursts out. Everybody gets affected for it and it dissipates. That's a uh, better honestly than what yeah. I. I, yeah, I was is. just thinking like <laughs> we're on. We got uh, have a look glance down at the HUD. See like three minutes and fifty seconds and. Think better of throwing a that smoke will be there for another minute or so, but yeah, uh, at least the tear gas won't. All right, so that's the end of Happy's turn. Yep, that's all I got. All right, Chummy. Hmm, hmm. Chummy sees people doing stuff over there. Uh, it's gonna go ahead and uh, run up this far. Hmm, it can kind of see, uh, it can see Ratchet. Yeah, Habit's getting he's. But right it's there. all. It, but Rafe also <laughs> killed their killed their friend. So they don't like he Rafe. Bled, so. He bled out. Okay. After you, you know, cut him up <laughs> with a with a sword. So she's gonna go ahead and try and shoot shoot a uh, uh, Rafe with her shotgun. Semantics. Twelve. Oh, nice. They needed to be a thirteen. They failed. Oh. Uh, they're so they're so bad at shotguns. It's because they got that poor quality shotgun. Yeah. All right. Uh, so that was her turn. Uh, next up is going to be the turn. The last order it was re it received was to shoot uh, the uh, uh, kind hearted. So that's what it's going to do. <laughs> poor kind hearted. Like little Ralph Wiggum about to get lit up. 15. Oh, it failed. Ah, uh, yeah, it fails. Misses. All right. Turn. Uh, gone. Kindheart is going to go. He's going to try and control this, uh, this turn. Because he sees that it's starting to shoot back at him again. He wants to take over. All right. So, uh, it's going to go ahead and roll its tech. Seven. All right. He's like he's trying to control it and stuff like that. And then he see the uh, as he's pressing it, the turn begins to to wind down. Actually, no. You said it was shoot the shoot the thing. All right. Yeah. yeah. He see he he tried to he tried to control it. Uh, he thinks he did it successful. He sees it, he sees it's winding up again to shoot, but he realizes it's not pointing at him at pointing at, at you guys anymore. He's like, what the heck is going on? Uh. Um. So he's gonna stay there. Go ahead, Ratchet. Your turn. All right. Well, not much I can do here. He's gonna jack out. You're just jacking out. That's it. Yep. All oh, right. Wait. You gotta. Okay. Never mind. It'll be fine. All right. I mean, wait, Ratchet so... would probably know they want a cloak, right? So they can't get jacked. Yeah. You, you, oh, you, oh, you're you right. Would, you're yeah, right. You would usually want a cloak first before you oh, jack out. No, nah, he's, he's absolutely right. Okay, I'm gonna cloak first. So don't get your IP address, bro. <laughs> oh no! All right, nine. All right, that's the number they have. That somebody has to beat in order to find out, find traces of you in here. Oh man! All right. All right. Second All right, so action, jack out. All right, you jack out safely. And I'll go ahead and get rid of the camera in here. I'm gonna. You still have your movement. Okay. 
gonna move further back. No, that your pistol. Your mean... pistol is better up close. You know that. True, but I can't shoot because I yeah. only have my movement. Yep. He's gonna stay right where he is. All right. He'll end this turn. All right. Unbiased. Uh. Uh. What you call it? Um. Boss is going to. Uh. Let me see here. Mm-hmm. 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 They're gonna uh, put their. Uh, uh, mm, mm, let me see something. Yeah, they're gonna ready a uh, shot with their uh, uh, assault rifle at Wraith when she jumps out of cover. All right, that's their turn. Wraith, it's your turn. Ready. I am going to spend my action to redistribute my solo points. Okay. Um, and I'm going to put all of them into damage deflection. So all, right. all four points into damage deflection. All right. Just change that up. Dang, so you can like hot swap in, in the field? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that's what I was bad. asking last turn if that going to cover cost my action. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, when you fail the thing, it, it's your action. Yeah. All right, so the damage deflection is at four. So I believe I now deflect three. I think three. It's, pr- it's probably uh, one. Uh, uh, two. I, I, I deflect two. two. You yep. put four points in there, so you deflect two. Yep. So the first yep. time you take damage, you, you reduce it by two. So here's my next question, though, because the mm-hmm. wording on the app is uh, it decreases the first damage you take this round. Yeah, the first time you take damage in the round. Okay, so does that persist persist through the uh, consecutive rounds, or is it only for one round when I each put the each time in? each each round, uh, you the first time you take damage, it's reduced okay. by two. So it carries over to other rounds. Yeah, okay, as long as you, as long as you keep here. the points in there, then every time the first time you take damage per in, during the round, you reduce it by two. So next round you reduce it by the first damage by two. Next round after that you reduce it by two the first damage. Okay, sounds good. All right, yep. then I will. Uh, I, I like where I am right now because I'm kind of in cover. Mm-hmm from the other spicy lady, so I will stay right where I am. All right. All right, Habit, you're up. All right. Yeah, Habit doesn't know that they're already in a shot, so they're going to try and shoot when they hear Chummy coming up, so yeah, they'll duck around the corner. All right. When you come out, uh, they see they see uh, Rafe is dun- hunkering down, so they're going to go ahead and release that shot at, 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 at you. All right, I'm going to try to dodge it. All right, we'll see, we'll see how this goes. All right, uh, they're not doing suppressive fire anymore. They're doing regular. So this is a regular shot. Uh, they do have a minus two because they have damaged eyes. Okay. 11. So evasion. go ahead and give me that Give me, give me me that evasion. Uh, 16. 16. All right, you dodge it. All right, so have it rolls sliding across the ground, and then we'll uh, take a shot at Chummy with their All shotgun. Right. We'll target. All right. Uh, let's see. Do we want to do an aim, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. DC 13. I have a plus 15, so it'd be a plus, uh, so it'd be 15 minus 8, so it'd be a plus 7, plus, let's see. So I only got to roll a 4. No, I'd have to roll a, with a plus 7 to get an actual, actually hit with a DC 13, I'd have to roll a, Plus a six. Ah, we'll just take a normal shot. So. All right. I don't think I'm set up for aiming. All right. Twenty-one. Dang, that would aim. <laughs> that would have worked. <laughs> <laughs> <So well. Okay. laughs> go ahead and give me that. Go ahead and give me that damage. You know, but fifty percent of the time it wouldn't have worked. So, all right, seventeen. 17. Ooh, and wow. when, 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 where are those crits coming from, man? I need. I, need, I want to roll, roll a, on the crit table. I know. See somebody, right. see somebody limb get blown off or something like that. <laughs> All right. All right. Then they'll duck back around. Actually, Alrighty. they'll tactically move over here. All right. And then uh, end their turn. All right. Next turn up is Chummy. Uh, Chummy's not happy with being shot. but And so now Wraith, the person who killed their friend, or you, the person that just shot her. Uh, or, you know, maybe she wants to leave. <laughs> Fair. No, they're, they're a hate group. They don't care. They're gonna come over here. 
Uh, they're going to run up to you. All right. Have it, and they're going to try and grab you. Uh, so it's evasion to not be grabbed? No, it's bra it's brawling versus brawling for grabbing. Okie dokie. We'll see what we got here. Oh. All oh right, yeah. You, you, he's, yeah. He's lean and... He's lean and mean, and uh, yeah, he right. takes another, takes another grab. Yeah, re 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 realizing that that she might have made a mistake, she's gonna back up. All right, that's the end of her turn. Uh, the turret's gonna go and shoot the shoot the control panel. All right, fifteen. Uh. All right, it hits. Yes. All right, does directly seven damage to the to the control panel. Uh, the control panel does have some HP. Uh, it is it is still working right now from the seven damage. <laughs> is it gonna keep trying to type on it while it's getting lit up? I don't know. I don't. Know. We'll find out uh, when <laughs> it's on his turn. All right, his turn comes up. He sees the the thing shooting at the at the at the uh, turn. He's like, I don't want. You can see this guy is this kind-hearted booster is not feeling, not having a good day right now. <laughs> uh, he's gonna go ahead and take out his. Uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, he's gonna take out his shotgun, and he is going to. Uh, mm hmm. He's gonna move up to here. And here, and shoot the lady that tried to kill his uh, her, his friend. Little old me. Yeah. All right, shotgun. Nine fail. Nice. All right. Uh, let me see here. All right, Ratchet, you're up. All right, Ratchet's going to step forward and just sh shoot. <laughs> Chummy point blank. All right. Hello. It's not, okay. Thirteen is you have to beat a thirteen. All right. All right. Nineteen definitely hits. Give me that damage. All right. Twelve. All right, she's mortally wounded. Nice. Well, not very All right. Well. For the headhunters. Mm -hmm. That's good Anything news. else? And, okay, he's going to then move around, get between, and I guess stay right where he is. All right. Dang. All right, next up is unbiased. Seeing you just come out of nowhere, all chromed up, shoot, shoot that person in the head, and like like that, they're gonna go ahead and try and shoot you. Uh, they tell their their kind-hearted one to to duck. Um, so this is a assault rifle towards you, uh, Ratchet. I would like to invade. Is your is your uh, reflex high enough? I have a reflex of nine right now. <laughs> Nice. Ooh. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we'll see. He's all coked up. <laughs> all right. You gotta beat a nineteen. I mean a six. Uh, uh sixteen. Oh. All right. Meat. Meat always benefits the defender. So you dodge. Nice. <laughs> I just turned it was my the head coke. The time. coke made the difference. <laughs> Another <laughs> satisfied customer. All right. She's gonna <laughs> use uh, some movement to stand up. And back into the, the smoke. All right. Next up is Wraith. All righty. I'm going to take a step forward and stab this lady over here. I tried to. She's she's mortally wounded. So if you stab her, it would just make it harder to, harder for her to survive. But she is she has to make a death save on her turn. Nah, I'll let you bleed out. You look like you're gonna die. So she right. can bleed out. I will target this gentleman over here then. Alright, kind hearted. My sword. 
Who needs guns in the sci-fi setting when you have swords? <laughs> mm -hmm. One of the, one of the weapons in here is is a helicopter blade. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, it's called it's called a very heavy melee weapon. Oh, it's funny. All right, they're gonna try and evade. Uh, so many sheets open. Oh, there you are. Uh, evade, evade, evasion. There you go. Fourteen. They miss. Uh, I mean, they uh, jump into your blade. Uh, go ahead and give me that. Uh, <laughs> go ahead and give me that damage. Alrighty. Ah, uh, snake oh, eyes. It's pretty, it's pretty low. It is pretty low. And Thanks for letting me know, Dom. <laughs> they're still doing good, though. They took four damage. All right, I uh, do it again. All right. Oh. oh. He might actually. He might actually. He might actually survive this one. He might. He's still got to be at twelve. Oh, oh nope. my god. <laughs> no, nope. <laughs> These rolls, man. Jeez. Sorry, buddy. Oh man! Oh, Look at that. So damn. many. So close. <laughs> I want I the want sword to, crit so bad. I want All to right. cut Bob's hands off. <laughs> All right. He uh he uh is uh he's seriously wounded. He's not mortally wounded yet though. Alrighty. Anything uh, else from, from Wraith? I will move into here. Alright. And I'm going to use my free action to close this door. There's no free action. Oh yeah, clo uh, actually close closing door is actually uh Free, so yes, you can close yeah. it. Yeah, it's closed. She has to use her action right. to open it. <laughs> All right. All right. Um, let's see. I'm gonna roll out. Um, let's see. Okay, so these these dudes are both uh, mortally wounded. Uh, no, kind heart is still is still going. Oh, okay. In that case, we'll see if we can fix that. Uh, we'll try to blast them with the shoddy. All right. Nope, not that one. The shotgun. Uh, 24. Man, all right, yeah, that's hits. Give me the damage. This might be it. Come on. Oh, oh no crit. Dang. 10. Uh, 10. I'm pretty sure this is going to kill him. Yeah. He's mortally wounded, though. All right. Um, let's see, we got three squares left. We'll uh, get up here and then... Crouch behind. Oh, uh, there's some boxes. There's not. You can't really crouch behind it. He was sitting on top of the boxes oh. when he got blast. When when talking to got blasted. Okay, we'll just move. Uh, just keep advancing then, and then okay. uh, end our turn. All right, Chummy. Chummy's gonna have to roll that death save. Oh, oh man, they they almost survived. They almost did. What's their body? A, less than a Two. three. Two body. Yeah, they're yeah, two body. Oh these my! Guys aren't, these guys are just just uh, these boosters. Are like, these are like waifs. Yeah. All right. They're like, they're like noodles in the wind. Two body score. Oh my god. They have pretty decent reflex, but you know their <laughs> body score is not that good. Living dangerously. All right. All right. There's dead. Next up, uh, deterrent. It's gonna go ahead and continue shooting this thing. Let's see if it actually destroys itself now. <laughs> uh, SP of 15. Oh, oh. No. Right, let's, see the, Ooh, let's see the damage. All right, with that, it shuts itself down. Nice. That's pretty rad. I, I have to ask because I'm just, I'm reminded of the Cyberpunk game. Can we rip the turret off and use it? Uh, if you have the enough uh, body and athletics, probably. You could probably rip, rip the gun off of it. It has a, <laughs> it has a, it has a heavy SMG. It'll be pretty tough can, to rip a gun off. Can you guys? Can you? Mount. Can you guys give me a second? I got a call. I got a really important call. I got pick up. No, this is fine. It's fine. All right. So we'll, we'll take a quick break. Real quick. Hold on. All right. I'm definitely gonna rip that gun off. By the way, I was just you put it in the that. universe. It's absolutely gonna happen. You said it. Now it must come true. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> I was just thinking about the video game. I'm like, maybe we could just take the turret <laughs> with us. And you know what? Get some yeah. And you know what? After the job is done, we got high tech military equipment. Yeah, we can sell it too. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna grab some water while Dom takes a call. So I'll still be all right. Ready. I'm back. 
Oh, just kidding. I'm not. <laughs> I'm gonna stay right where I am. <laughs> Wait, what happened? No, no, no. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I mean, if you, if you guys really want to take a break, I because I, I do have to take a call, but the call was, hey, I'm in the middle of something. Can I call you back? That's what the, that's what the call turned out to be. So uh, if you want to take a break, we can. No, I'm, I'm good to, to keep going. Water. I'm good. All right. Yeah, I'm good. All righty. Yes, okay. All right. Turn turned himself off. Kindhearted is going to go ahead and try and make his uh, death save. All right, Kindhearted. Out of all of them, you're the one who can do it. I'd be surprised if he did. Uh, uh -oh. No. oh. No, he died. He's dead. <laughs> There he goes. <laughs> See ya. All right. Uh, up next is Ratchet. Ratchet walks on top of his cold, his cold dead body. Poor kind of hard. <laughs> and just continues walking. And he's gonna tell Wraith, "You okay?" Oh, and never then... been better. He's gonna kick open the door. Oh, so you're, you're gonna use your action to open the door? All right. Yeah. All right, action, open door. And he's going to. Do he has movement speed? For, no, he doesn't. Okay. He'll end his turn. All right. All right. Next up, uh, unbiased boss, realizing that all their people are dead, and that they're they're by themselves. They're gonna. Uh, Give it up, Jum. Yeah, they're gonna say. Uh, I, you got it. You guys win. I, I'm done. And then that's be that'll be their turn. They're trying to, you know, parlay. All right, Rafe, what do you do? I go over to the the turret. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I attempt to rip it off the ceiling. Is it mounted <coughs> on the ceiling or is it like on it's, on the ground? It's mounted on the ceiling. Okay. How how tall is the ceiling? Uh, it you can see it's it's uh two meters up. Well, one meter up you can reach it. So yeah, it's like it's about. Three feet above your head. Okay, I can definitely. Yeah, I can reach that then. All yeah. right, I will. I will attempt to grab the gun off of it and and, and yoink it. All right, go ahead and give me athletics. Alrighty. I believe. Oh, what's your body score? Actually, uh, check, it's so. a six. Okay, perfect. Yeah, go ahead and go ahead and uh, give me an athletics. Oh, there it is. Okay, I don't have any luck to spend. Oh well. Damn. All right. With that, you do rip it off, and you get you. you now you're now the private owner of a heavy SMG. Oh, wonderful! All right, let me throw this on your sheet. And I, I look at my two companions. Are we leaving bodies? Well done. Eh, she might know where the cargo is. No mm. need. And he'll ratchet will tap his head. Got it all right here. In that case, better to have no witness. Sounds All right, like so you, you, you used use your action to grab the the thing. Yep, and I, I'm gonna walk. Just I don't know. I kind of should we try to like coax her out of the fog? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. Have a little shrug Maybe. at you. Yeah, sure. Come on out with your hands up. All right. Next up is habit. I think Here I'm committing up. a war crime, but that's okay. What are you doing? Uh, we all are. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, if we've all agreed, have it already themselves to shoot her if she appears. <laughs> all right. Um, uh, no, actually, they'll ready themselves to slam the door shut whenever they, uh, uh, oh. they come out. All right. And, like, hold the door, I guess. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, next up, next up. Uh, Ratchet. Is there anything you're do doing before her, before she takes her turn? Ratchet. Yeah. Do will... you want to try and convince her that you guys are are doing anything or being being uh, sincere? <laughs> that might be right weird. now, she you can tell that you can tell by her voice she's still on edge. Relax. You can walk away from this. We just want the cargo. All right. Go ahead and give me a persuasion. I feel like that's a deception. I don't know. Well, the persuasion. The art of lying is also persuasion. Oh, okay. I, I, fair enough. I'm actually pretty decent at it, somewhat. Are you now? <laughs> right, sixteen. Okay. Let's see if nice. she if she uh let's see what she uh gets. Uh on her what's uh is it inside like human empathy, I guess? It's or human it? perception. Human perception. Yeah, despite being bored as I am, I'm still human oh. deep down. Alright. Alright, she says okay. 
All right. So end your turn. Anything else? Anything else in your? You only have movement left. You had to use your. Uh, your I'll stand uh, right there with my arm cross. All right. <laughs> okay. She steps out of the. The uh, smoke. Have it slams the door shut. All right. Reach it though. Oh, there we go. All right. And then as you do that, she's looking around at the at the door. She's okay. Okay. All right. So far, she still believes you know there hasn't been any other hostility yet. You just slammed the door shut. All right. Go ahead, Wraith. Your turn. All righty. You said this was a, a heavy, a heavy what? An assault rifle? Heavy SMG. SMG. Okay. All right. So does that work from better close range or far range? Um, uh, if you have it on your sheet, uh, team. click on the little, click on the little, uh, the little. Uh, 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 I think it's optimal from four squares away. So if you stand on okay. kind-hearted. Looks like Alrighty. It's DC thirteen. If you're four squares right. away, she comes out, and I I take a step step back. Okay. And I, and I, and I turn around. Gun, and I turn around, and I open fire on her. All right. <laughs> Are we the baddies? <laughs> We're trying to Maybe. make a run. We don't need. It. It's a bad gang. All right. They're they're bad people. <laughs> I know. Right. I know. We're, we might be bad SMG. People, but... Uh, was it thirteen? You got a sixteen, so it hits. Alrighty. Give me a damage. Ah oh, man. All right, All six right. damage. All right. So what? Are, what are the uh, the fun little buttons on? I have aim. I have auto. I have S U P P sup. So 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 sup oh, is the suppressive yeah, fire. Okay. Full auto means that you spend ten bullets and you do an attack. Um, it has a different uh, different DV, but the way it does, you roll two d sixes, and if you if you're attack roll was higher than your DV to hit, you multiply gotcha. it by how high you were. All right. So this like, gun's so, cool and all, but my sword yeah. does better damage. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. I, I kick out the sword. Yeah. All right. Good to, good to know, though. All righty. Mm -hmm. uh, so I open fire on her with the SMG, and that will be my turn. Yeah. She's like, oh, son of a... And then uh, go ahead. Uh, have it. You're up. All right. I'm going to aim with the shotgun uh, for the head. And all right. And we're going to... Spend two luck. All right. Sixteen. Uh, I, was for a, I was looking for a thirteen, so that is gonna <laughs> hit. I just, uh, just blaster. Oh come on, no crit. All right, let me see here. Uh, oh yeah, okay, and then uh, she's gonna have to take that damage. I think it's a, is it double, right? Because it's head? Yeah, so it's double after the armor, after armor goes through. So Okay, gotcha. Uh, she took a total of 24 damage. Oh, man. All right, she's blasted. Uh, you, if she didn't have that helmet on, she would have died. Yeah. Okay. So uh, uh, she is, she is uh, uh, crying out for, uh, for uh, mercy. It's the dark All future, right. Chum. And then we'll pass. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ratchet, you're up. Here's your mercy. Are you going for the head too? Nah, gut shot. All right. Oh, count. No, just, uh, we don't need a. We don't need a. Uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, a comeback story, which she crawls <laughs> through broken glass to hunt us down later. I mean, this is this, you kind of you kind you guys are kind of like doing like a Z move, like one shot in the head, one in the gut, making her turn flip. Yeah. All right, gut shot. Twenty one. That definitely hits. Go ahead and give it a damage. Is this is this the moment? Oh, oh dang! Crit, dang! A very. I guess we only had one crit last game. Oh, I fucked yeah, the target. It Damn it! It's okay. I got it. We had two crits last game. She actually. is mortally wounded. She's on the floor. All right. uh, not on the floor, but she's a uh, uh, clutching her side, her head. This, this, she's not long for this world, and it's also her turn next. So we'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. Yeah, use your action to open that door. I, I already shot. I can't. All right. <laughs> no, she she has to use her action to do it. She wants to run. All right. I mean, she has to survive a, a death save first. All right. <gasps> she oh, survives. Man. Oh, shit. It is the redemption, the, 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 right. the comeback Kill Bill story. Oh, no. All right. She's going to uh, action open this door. Uh, oh. uh, uh, what'd you call it? Uh, free action, close it. Oh, Damn man. it! 
<laughs> she foiled us. <laughs> I'm just gonna continue to move. She starts Arnie. limping away. Yeah. That is not good. Alright, Wraith. Oh, I throw the SMG down. Alright. Please just do I... it. throw it in your bag or something. I don't know. <laughs> Putting and stowing I... an item away is an action. Oh, dang. Yeah, oh. I throw the SMG down and I take out my sword. Nice. Right. Okay. Um, use my action. All right. I and I wade into the fog blindly. All right. And that's my turn. All right, have it. You're up. All right, we'll go in the fog. All right. Um, what sort of action to? Oh, sorry. What's what sort of action to like find out where? They are listen. So, so you only have the negative. Like it's it's go it's it's you know hard to see them, but you know they're there. It's just a matter of having the negative when you're shooting. Okay. Uh, and I think we'll if try. you remember correctly, smoke was negative two, right? Uh yeah. Let's see. Okay. Let's see. Uh smoke. Oh no, it's actually minus four. Task obscured minus by four. Smoke. Yeah, yeah, minus four. Uh, so, we'll try to shoot her anyway. All right. Hopefully not aiming it right. Uh, 24. Ooh. All right, yeah. <laughs> Even with the negative four, uh, it's still going to hit. Oh! Oh, no. Uh, I, I saw I saw a six there. One six. All right. All right. I mean, yeah, she's hit. The damage is taken. Uh, her death counter goes up. Her uh, death save counter goes up one. So oh, she has okay. she has a plus two now to her death saves. All right. Um, let's see. I'm not sure if I got any movement left. I moved. Uh, uh, your movement is what? Four. Uh, six. So you have you can move twelve up to total of twelve. Okay, twelve meters. Okay, we'll back up just to give a uh, ratchet some room. All right. All right. Next up is ratchet. All right, Ratchet. So, oh, I was muted. My bad. All right, all right. Okay, move inward. He'll probably move there. And he can't really see anything. Uh, here, let me uh, do this. Uh. There, how's that? All right, oh, better. Nice. You ran past. Can, can I feel around for something? Like, do I know what that is? Yeah, you feel around. It looks like controls. Probably train controls. Oh, jeez. <laughs> you want to speed this chain up or stop it? Uh, I want to get the crates in GTFO. <laughs> okay, but. Mm. Wait, do I know where the crates are now? I mean, yeah, you do. You do know where the tra cr crates are. Okay, can I head off in that direction then, if possible? Okay, so 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 uh, you know that it they're in the car that you just left. Um, you, oh, have to spend some time, you, you know they're in there, and if you were to like spend some time to look around, you'll ident you can identify them for sure. You just know they're inside this, inside that, inside this uh, the car that you just left. You know they're in there. It would take okay. it probably take you like an action just to look, but you know where you know what to, you know what you're looking for. Okay, I want this woman dead, so I'm just gonna shoot her. All right. Since I have cybernetic eyes, both of them, would that impact my ability to? Uh, there is actually a, a part of cybernetic eyes that can help you. Uh, it's called infrared that lets you see through smoke. You don't have that. Ah, damn. Okay. I just press negative four. Yep. If you did that. Be a killer combo. All right, 13, you got a 19, even with the negative four. All right. We got to make sure she goes down for good. All right. Yeah, she's going to get it. She's going to take it. Uh, her death counter goes up uh, even more. She has a plus three to her death save. That means, right. th yeah, at this point, uh, the, only <laughs> way she can the only way she can survive is she rolls one. Oh. I, I end my turn. <laughs> All right. The possibility is low, but not zero. True. All right, death save. All right, she's dead. Okay. All right. 
All right, that's the end of combat. Bug quick. Now that Kill Bill moving one toe. Yeah, I will. Uh, I'll All take right, my sword combat. off and oh, before I before I decapitate her, does she have any cool cyberware I might destroy? Um, she does not actually have any cyberware, but she does have some equipment. She All has right. Some radio communicators. Oh, those are good. Uh, uh, she has a she has a, a heavy pistol on her side, a very heavy pistol, and a melee weapon as well, a medium melee weapon. Oh. Uh, well, well I will, I'll just double tap her to make sure she doesn't come crawling back. All right. Oh my she's, she's she's dead dead. All right. While they're doing that, I'm immediately going for the um heavy SMG, pocketing mm -hmm. that. That's All fair. Right. All right. I was gonna say, and then we, we gotta look for the cargo. Yeah, I was right. gonna start Go. throwing her stuff into his bag. It says uh, three minutes, chooms. We got a delta. All right. All right. Okay, with this, I need you guys to give me uh uh uh. Well, ratchet. And just you, you're gonna succeed at this, no matter what, because you ha you were able to find the file. You do know it just takes you know takes the time, some more time than three seconds to look for it. So it takes you about you know, you know, ten seconds, and you recognize that they're right here. The crate's right here. All stacked up haphazardly. Yeah. Rafe, come here, come here. Yes, yes. There's yes, four yes. crates. All right, you carry two, I carry one. Have it, get over here. You carry the other one. All right, have a little stow, whatever they can, and then come over. As the uh, as time speeds up a bit and the smoke dissipates, um, um, uh, have it before you before you you know step out of that room to go grab the crates. You do see a uh, uh, a light blinking on the uh, train, and it looks like it says it's like a distress signal and has a Militech logo on it. Ooh, oh, we shit. really got to go, Chooms. <laughs> Fire, uh, see what they're called. Fire teams inbound. All right. Tell me what's at the end of this track. Uh, from what you guys found out from from Hornet, is that they were trying to take it to some off off city facility to help crack open these cases. Uh, you know what I'm thinking, Trooms? What do you think, in Ratchet? All right, we have the crates, right? Okay. Okay, we have the crates. I'm gonna go over there with this control panel. We can speed it up. Oh uh, yeah, if you have a, if you want to do a land vehicles check to see if you understand what's going on here, yeah. And try and see if you know, see if you know how to control the train. Might as well make our mark on this one while we're here. Right. I'm gonna try and speed this train up <laughs> even faster. Uh, okay, you I mean, have keep, 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 that, have keep in mind land vehicle tag. <laughs> Keep in mind, by speeding up this train, that means you're going away from your getaway train. Uh, oh, oh, damn. Okay, never mind. Then, never mind. Ah, uh, next time, next time. Let's I mean, see. if we're quick, we could probably get there if you speed up just a little bit. Nah, I want, I want, I want to stick it to those corpos, it, but it's not worth it. I would say you could speed it up a bit more, and you'll have some time to like run and before it gets too far away. But that just makes the, the, the check to get across even well, higher. Can you can you just kind of cut the brakes? Uh huh. I mean, there's no one driving it right now, so it's just gonna keep moving no matter what. Yeah, just uh, if there's an like, emergency brake, just turn there's it no off. There's no stopping it. There's no stopping it right now because no All one's right. in here driving it. No brakes. Oh, on this no one. If no one's driving this, this is gonna go on its own. It's gonna, Fuck it. Let's, gonna, let's just yeah, go. It's, it's gonna go on forever. All right. Crashes uh, or something. Hmm. These things are using like magnetic rail systems or something. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think of something I could do here. Eh, yeah, whatever. Habit, come on, old man. We gotta <laughs> Habit's go. gonna, Habit's gonna shotgun the control system. Oh You're just shooting God. the control system to blow them up. Yeah. So, All right, so just... that if they try to get somebody in here to slow it down, that they won't be able to. All right, go ahead and just get roll damage because you you would hit. All right. Come on, Habit. We got a Delta. <laughs> I will. I'll wait for Havoc. All right, maybe, the, maybe the maybe the critical what I did. did on, all right. Well, yeah. I mean, fifteen damage. That's enough to blow up this uh, these controls. All right. They're on operation. Shoulders a crate. Starts pulling it. All right. So you guys uh, go over here. You're gonna use the cargo to try and climb up. Put the crates up there. With all you guys working together, not in combat, and with Wraith and Ratchet, which your guys' body score, you guys can pull it up no matter what. So I'll move you guys up to the to the roof. Uh, the question is getting it across to the other side. Yeah, how are we going to do that? Got to just chuck them, I guess, huh? You can. You can chuck them, and hopefully they land and don't fly off. 
or you can jump, try and jump across with them. Are there any, uh, let's see. Is there any, like, cabling or stuff down here on the below deck? Uh, hold on. You got to do it for each of you guys. Hold on. Uh, you're up. Like cable, like cables, like uh, extension cables or something. Uh, cables inside. The, I mean, there's a lot of wires and everything. There's uh, yeah, also there's, like, there's cargo. You can open up the cargo. Uh, yeah. You would know, Ratchet, that there are some cargos with you know, uh, cable wire and stuff like that, and you know exactly where they are. We can lash them. Wraith jumps across with one of the cables, and then if we throw it to her, and if he doesn't make it, she can hold it. All right, sounds good to me. All right. All right. So for this, then uh, I need if Wraith can. So uh, you find the you drop back down, uh, Ratchet, to go and get uh, the cables. You know where they are, for sure. Mm -hmm. So is that are you doing that? Okay, you do that. Um, uh, have it. Uh, okay, so you find the cables and you come back up here. You guys have the four the four carts, uh, trucks. I mean crates on the roof. You have the cables. What are you planning to do with those cables in that? Uh, like, we're going to tie them around the crates, and yeah. I'm going to take one end of the cables that's not attached to the crate, uh, and I'm going to jump across with the cables. Um, mm -hmm. And then when they try to chuck the crates over the train, uh, if it if they miss, they'll, I'll be able to catch it with the uh, with the cable that I have. All right. So I need who's going to be tying the tying the cable to the tr to the to the crate. What kind of check would that be? Uh, let me see here. Uh... Mm hmm. Tying knots. I would say that would be, would be either a, a wilderness survival, a. Uh, mm, mm. All these take, skills, and there's I'll no take, tie rope skill. Uh, I'll was... take. I'll, I'll take a wilderness survival. I'll also take uh, uh, education, just to make see you, you've heard about a, a thing like that. Um, uh, and remember, there's a thing in here called uh, uh, complimentary check. So somebody can roll a skill check to help somebody else get another skill check. So like, say you want to roll that that will in survival. Uh, maybe somebody can use athletics to give you a plus one to make sure that you know they're the ones who are, you know, you oh, okay. figuring out the why, and they're the one who's tying it. You know, using their strength to tie it tighter, things gotcha. like that. I'm uh, you, also can, you, you also can take your time to get another plus one. I'm skilled in education. All right. All right, you're gonna tie the knot then. All right. All right. All right. Is anybody helping helping them with anything? Yeah, I'll use my athletics to give them the plus the plus one by just kind of yanking the ropes for them. Okay, so go ahead, you first, Ra uh, uh, Rafe. Give me the athletics to see if you actually give them the plus one or not. Okay. If you fail, it just means they don't they don't get a plus one. It doesn't hinder them. All right. No, uh, that's good. Perfect. Mm -hmm. All right. So you get a plus one on this ratchet. You also can get a plus one if you take your time. Taking time means it just takes four time four times the amount of time to tie this knot. I don't think we have a lot of time, bud. Two minutes. How, how much minutes do we have left? Uh, we'll say uh, two. <laughs> we'll say we'll say you guys have two minutes. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, you know what? We'll take the time. All right. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. It takes you. It takes you thirty seconds then to tie this tie this knot. So oh, that, that's yeah. that's a plus two, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Oh! Oh! Oh, oh man! All right. Five. Damn. All right, this is the tightest knot, best knot I've ever, you know, you have ever done. All right, go ahead, Wraith. I need the athletics for you to jump across. All righty. I will take a running jump with the cables. Can, Could uh, I? Uh, yeah, I'll go. Can, uh, I don't even know what to help her with for this. Yeah. All right, 17, you're good. You jump across. All right. All right. Okay, now to throw these things across, I need athletics. What's your uh, athletics, Ratchet? Uh, oh, technically, we, we probably should have done this at the front of the train, but that's whatever. That's fine. I'm I have I have a level two for athletics, so I don't know. That's. I mean, what's your base? Oh, my base body is five. Oh, the base yeah. for athletics is ten. Yeah. My bad. Okay, okay, yeah, I've got a ten as well. So we could work together, and then one of us could just roll it, and then get a plus one. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah. One, per one person roll it. I need a. The DV for this is fit, throwing the cases. DV is uh, uh, is a thirteen. Okay, how long does it take to throw a case? Uh, uh, an action, so three seconds. So if you want okay. to take your time, 
it's just uh you know three times four that's 12 seconds so if you so want to you want to take your time 48 seconds per for all of them all right Call yeah it a minute. Yeah. Good yeah. yeah yeah mm-hmm. we'll take our we'll take our time so we, right. uh, we each, each 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 yeah each crate is gonna have to be checked all right we're rolling it okay. up all right so okay we're 13 good, 13 was two, right? no thir- oh you had a you didn't add a plus two into it it's okay uh, yeah so yeah with a plus two then it'll be 15 so it's a success so okay. now you have a plus one crate number two all right. Uh, All right. That's also a success. Great two successes. Three. Oh, okay. Ooh, we're getting All right. That's now. good. Last crate. All right. In between it, he bumps some coke and then he throws the last one. <laughs> Don't blow this habit. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It's good. All right. Good. All right. <laughs> you guys get all all crates crate, over. Now I just need habit and ratchet to, to jump across. Throw throw back the cable to him. The one that's attached to the the, the one that you're holding the one that you're holding on to. Oh, they're, all, they're all they're all attached to they all attached to crates. No, she's got she's got the one that she was going to use as like an anchor, so she can throw oh. back the loose end, right? Uh, I can untie that, so them from, from, the from crate, my understanding. But... From my understanding, uh, you tied all the crates together so that when you threw it across, when she when she uh, you know um, if it misses, she can use the use the cable to pull the crate up 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 onto the thing. Just, just jump. There's no time, Habit. All right, whatever. Habit's going to take their time to jump. <laughs> All right. Get a plus one. Oh, oh no! no! <laughs> Eight. All right. Habit. So, uh, according to this adventure, um, um, what I need from you is uh, one secondary uh, athletic see if you can latch on. A secondary athletics. So I need another athletics. This is a different DC, uh, DV. But if you can hold on, even though you didn't make the jump, you can you can grab on with your arms. Okay, wait. Let's see. Can I assist him in any way to give him a plus one with my own athletics? Uh, if you want to go ahead and give me an athletics to try and reach for them, if you succeed yeah. on this, it'll give him a plus one. Okay. Yeah, I try to reach for him. All right. Oh my god, that one. <laughs> uh. All right, that 15 gives you a plus one, so that's a 13. That's just oh, enough. No. Okay. Oh, jeez. All, All right, right, so you make it, you make it over Habit. Lapping in the wind. <laughs> I, I, I pull right. you up, Habit. Okay. Habit slaps you, on the, <laughs> slaps you on the shoulder, says, uh, you come to me whenever, anytime you need drugs. Mm. Ratchet right. backs cost, away. That'll cost you. Gets a run start. All right, go ahead. Give me the athletics. <laughs> Anyone want to help me? I mean, we'll uh, try to catch you, I guess. Yeah, if you miss. <laughs> okay. All right, you're good. Oh, good. Make yeah, it across. Alrighty. All right, with that, you guys make it back to the train. You guys have all four, four things. You do see that further down the line, uh, you do see another Militech train heading down at full speed towards this one. Uh, you guys, uh, as you guys uh, begin to climb back down into the shaft. Yeah, Habit's going to, as soon as we're all, all of us are on it and the crates are on, Habit will, with their internal agent, will beep uh, Hornet, tell them to get us out of here. All right. What's on the clock, Habit? How how long did that take? Uh, we're probably took, at sub one minute. That, that took, <laughs> that took, that took, yeah. 48 <laughs> seconds just for the crates. Yep. Uh. All righty. Let me go ahead and... and Put on some back to the. And this I gotta, we gotta music. try, try to get better time next time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, we'll go with. Uh, we'll go with. We'll go with this for now. You guys succeeded, so we'll go with this music. All right. Hey, you guys want to look inside the crates first? <laughs> Just to see. They're DNA locked. I don't think we can open them. Shit, you're right. Yeah. All right. Damage the goods they might. All right, let me take it. you guys back to the dashboard. All right. I mean, we could certainly try to open them, uh, but you know, two thousand of these, it, it's not worth yeah, looking in. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not worth it. All right. So, uh, you guys uh, climb back down. Uh, you know, lowering the crates as you go. Uh, the train starts to speed up, uh, slow down actually, so that it backs up and the other train. You know, leaves it as the Militech train whooshes by, going after their own train. All right. Uh, uh, Fox uh, um, points you guys towards the office. 
uh, at the office to a, a uh, another car inside the train uh, where Horn is there and he has the uh, has a spot for you to place the, the crates. Um, he motions for you to place it place it down. Does, does, does he want to try to like undo the knot and is unable to get the thirty five? No, no, he does. He doesn't worry about it. Okay. All right. Let's leave. Yeah, I guess we'll place them down. I mean, unless. All right. Place them down, and he says, "That was very fast, very clean. Looks like you, you're the only the only person that took uh, got hurt. You know, is a uh, is Wraith. That makes sense. Mm. Yeah. All right. Capital uh, jab you with the speed heal to uh. Oh yeah. Let's see. All right. I think you just immediately get back uh, your body plus your will. Yeah, in HP. Plus will. So that would be six plus six, so 12, right? Yep. Yep. Because mechanically, I think you only heal like one per day, so. That'll get me back to when you. Yeah, when, you, when you're when healing normally, you heal your body plus will, uh, plus your will once per day. Uh, you know, normally, if you're trying to just long rest. So every it day you long me. rest, you only, you only heal that much. Habit feels right. slightly indebted because they almost went flying off train, so. <laughs> All righty. He says, well, you guys did good. Uh, like professionals. Uh, so, like professionals, you're going to get paid. So, uh, uh, please pull out your, your, your agents. Or unless you wanted cash. Just send it to the typical account. Okay. Same here. Uh, you can see his uh, behind his his uh, goggles, his eyes light up, and you see on your uh, agents uh, the two thousand uh, eddies have been transferred to each of you. Well, once we arrive back at the station, we'll be on our way. You guys have done good, and please look out for uh, another call. I might have more work, more lucrative work for you later. <laughs> have it just nods. Goes to a. Uh sit down have a smoke all right with that uh that is the end of this uh actually before we do that i need everybody to give me a resist torture and drug to see if you get addicted to the coke <laughs> it's only oh, a UC 15 guys <laughs> where the resist drugs okay it's under your your uh, i found body. it yeah. all right ratchet Oh, you man. are you are addicted to synth coke now. What? Yeah. Uh, the problem, the thing with synth synth coke is that uh, I don't know. Do you still have it on your sheet? Uh, oh, so the yeah, the negative, yeah, the negative uh problem of, of synth coke is that if the once it wears off, if you're not under the effects of synth coke, uh, you have a uh, minus uh, two to your minus reflex. two to your reflex. Yeah. Have it looks over to you. Ratchet, perks a grin. Oh. Tried to keep up. You bitch. <laughs> All right. I mean, for this, I mean, you guys were only over there for like you know a few a few minutes, so you still have you still have like like three and three and three hours and something. Of yeah, this is just you know, later on, you know. Yeah, later on when you, when it when it wears off, you're gonna be craving. Yeah, this is how uh, habit gets a uh, gets new clients. He gets yeah. addicted. On the yeah, he, he goes. He goes on a job with a bunch of people. Hands out free, uh, <laughs> free uh, synth coke, and then they they get hooked. And he, you know, that's yeah. a customer. Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah Dom. <laughs> don't forget to add the heavy SMG. Yeah, well, oh, yeah. You, if you take it's, on, it's on it's on Rafe's it's on Rafe's uh, oh, yeah, cheap, so I'll drag it off. A, it. If you I'll take another hit of the synth coke, your reflex will go. It goes back to normal, and you still got the plus one. So yeah, it's like uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, just whenever you just want to be on synth coke all time at every time. And the the habit time. can help you with that. So yeah. can, you, can, you can I habit. cure it? Oh, man, uh, <laughs> you, you can cure it by going to therapy. Which Havoc can also help you with. Yeah. There's also, there's also, there's also, there's also, there's also, there's also, a, glasses. There's also a drug, a drug that Havoc can make that can instantly just detox you. It make you, uh, no Havoc longer doesn't know how to make that one. one. Yeah, he doesn't know how to make it, though. He probably didn't pick it as one of his things to make. Definitely All right, not. well, that's the end of the one shot. Nice. Jeez. Amazing. Cyberpunk is so wild. It's, it's <laughs> cool. I love it. All right. <laughs> Oh, should I brought like, we... like a frag grenade? That would have been yeah. good. something like. Well, if you if you brought a frag grenade and threw it in the middle of that area, you know, you know well, what would have got messed up. I, I wanted to. I wanted to. Uh, 
I wanted to rig it up to like the train controls so that if somebody tried to like mess with the try to slow the train down, uh, it explodes. Yeah. Oh yeah, if, that if would you be a demolition. Room, it would uh, probably ruin the the cargo. But if you use yes. the controls, probably. Yeah, no, I definitely would not have opened with a uh, <laughs> open with a frag. No, that was I, I really like that the the flashbang goes off. You drop down with a sword. A ratchet comes down, just point blank blast somebody with a sh uh, this pistol. Mm -hmm. ah, that was really rad. I, like I also that. I also think net running is so cool, like how it didn't yeah. interact with like the combat environment. It felt like, so nice. Just being yeah, it's, it's like... really cool. I like how you get three actions per meat space. And if action. you if you if you level up, you end up can get to four and five. Dang. Wow. wow! And those rooms are cool too. Like it's uh, they looked really nice. Yeah, the the people who made the whole system, the whole uh, cyberpunk um, foundry system put those in as like part of the part of the whole system like they're in yeah, there they're not rad. i didn't have to go find them they're part of it they that even have the a whole transfer guy right uh the uh no i mean he he works with the team but he's not the one who who makes the system uh there's a bunch of people there's a few people but he's part of the team but yeah shout out um, foundry cyberpunk team yeah the foundry cyberpunk team is, is real this is real deal they're really good i think if you were to like play a full campaign of cyberpunk i think having a net runner is like yeah, I don't want to say a necessity, sure. but definitely adds a lot to the game. Because I feel like so, there's a whole aspect of the game you lose if you don't have a Netrunner. There is, but there's also ways you can get around it. Um, but Netrunner is very fast at doing some of these things. Mm -hmm. It's also very dangerous because it can get their brain burned. But yeah, like, I, I literally like, can't move from that where I am, guys. Yeah, it's it's so cool though. I like the idea of like you you uh, you plugging into something and then we're over here trying to defend your meat suit that you got over <laughs> here. <laughs> I think that's awesome. <laughs> so a tech, a tech. If you had a tech in, in and anybody who's really good at, at security, electronic security tech, um, they could have gone up to that that turret and and just reprogrammed it. But mm -hmm. you have to be up next to the turret, yeah, and pass. it takes a very long time. <laughs> It tastes like it tastes like 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 five minutes. Yeah. So, you know, but if you have a net runner, you can just go up to a terminal, and every three seconds they do three actions. So, so it's just you know, it's, it's just fast. so neat though. It's it yep. definitely is cool. I definitely like net runners. Yeah, if I ever did play, I would want to play a net runner. Yeah, I think med tech is cool too. Like I love the idea of just making a bunch of drugs in a van. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's 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 also like doing like a, a line of coke before going on a mission. <laughs> that's just yeah. like some Mad Max stuff right there. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I had a whole that's bunch of other crazy. ones. Like okay, so this one, if you needed uh, something to make yourself smarter, I could have given you that. I was gonna give it to you before you, were, but you already went into the architecture and you were doing pretty good. So, but that would have helped. Oh, yo. Oh, that would've been awesome. And then, uh, but these are all like really addictive. So I was trying to. <laughs> this one just uh, doesn't do anything good. Blue glass. It just uh, like it's used on the enemy, I guess, and it um, makes yes. them trip. And you, you can, you can as a med tech have a. You have your air hypo. You yeah. can just inject drugs into people yeah. as an attack. I was thinking about that. And then this one, if anybody got mortally wounded or seriously, se uh, severely wounded, then this one could. Uh, Keep you from taking that. This one I was yeah. hesitant to use though, because you immediately roll humanity loss. Yep. So My humanity is already low, guys. It's okay. <laughs> no, because no, you're showing up. What, what's your humanity on this guy? Like the uh, 33? Three, three. Yeah, oh, three, that's three. not too bad. Yeah, that's not too bad. Uh, you should see. You should hear. See habits. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god! Alone, all right, 29 is pretty good. <laughs> I didn't even think that was that low, but yeah, like uh, I thought your guy would be showing up like on the edge of cyber psychosis. I did not want to risk giving you this this one. I mean, yeah, the art the art is really chromed out, but uh, in terms of character creation, uh, you didn't yeah. have enough money to actually do the full on chroming. Yeah, but don't like, worry, guys. That you're, like, I'm slowly going. Or showing up. I'm slowly right. bit in there. All right, so uh, I I, th I feel like I got a little bit more better at the rules now, so we'll be able to go through it. And I kind of understand what they how they set up their their uh, their adventures now. So I hope we hope you guys enjoyed this one. Yeah, that was, that was fun. Oh, yeah, 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 I, I definitely three hour one shot. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, yeah. congrats. This is, it's a one. Let me let me let me tell you a screen. I'm gonna give you a screenshot of the the adventure right now. Hold on. If you have another one shot in store for this, I'm definitely signing up. <laughs> Yeah, I really like this. Uh, the, that's, yeah, that's, that's, really fun. that's the whole adventure I'm putting in, in in the chat. That's the whole adventure. Guys, we can get the crew together. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Just one page. Dang. Oh my Damn. god. Oh shit, it really is. Yeah, yeah it's just one page. 
All right. Whew. <laughs> I know. Take a break. You didn't go. Ahead. Go. Go. Take that call. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I better. I, I should go do it. Uh, get that yeah. call. All right. Well, it was fun though, guys. Uh, thank you for uh, running, Dom. Yeah. yeah thank you, Dom. I'm definitely like this has made me even more excited about running a full campaign mm -hmm. later on. Yeah. I'm def definitely interested. It, it seems like a really fun and really fun system that you can do a lot of crazy shit with. Mm hmm. I like I mean, the versatility of it. So I was yeah. very okay. So I gotta know. Okay, is it saying here why they're so bad at using shotguns? <laughs> so they tell you to use the booster ganger uh, stat block. The booster ganger stat block is primarily a handgun user. And it's like making you. But shotguns, they but, it, but they weaker. say make them use yeah make them use shotguns. So if they hit, it's gonna hurt. But they're very they unlikely hit, to not. But hit. they're very unlikely to hit. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, because. <laughs> I, I thought like maybe the crates were full of poor quality shotguns and that's why they were all using shotguns. Oh no, that is that's also why. Oh. <laughs> what? Yeah, so there's a lot of scrap here to be made into new stuff. So a lot of it was a bunch of poor quality shotguns that are probably gonna get broken down into uh for middle tech, like old beat up used material was gonna mm. be used to make stuff and then these guys hijacked it. Do you guys wanna that's know what was actually inside the those crates? Oh um, I wanna know. It was a, a a biotoxin poison. Oh damn! Oh. I could Ratchet could have taken that and sold it, man. Oof. <laughs> no, and then no, you don't want to screw over the fixers, man. Yeah, you don't want to screw over fixers because uh, they'll send people to help to kill you or kill That's your family. Okay. True, true, true. Um, yeah, they'll send me to kill. And you. another <laughs> another thing too. Um, the whole thing here is that um, uh, uh, if anybody wanted to learn more about Hornet and I like, try to like you know do like a search or history, not history, but like library search or anything like that about Hornet, you would have learned that uh, he is known, uh, he used to work for Arasaka uh, as a biochemist that made uh, chemical weapons. Yeah, oh, jeez. So. No, Habit does not want to know who they're working for and does not know what's in the, <laughs> the crates that they're getting. There's a reason why Hab that he likes you so much, uh, Habit. <laughs> I think Ratchet will want to know just because. <laughs> all right all righty well i'm gonna go take that call yeah right, yeah right. enjoy enjoy your nights guys all right take care have a night uh you yeah. know have a nice uh, thanksgiving too and everything yeah enjoy your thanksgivings enjoy yeah, turkey yeah. happy thanksgiving everybody enjoy your week all right yeah, enjoy Tune your night next time all right. next time bye 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 mm -hmm. bye <laughs>